ball to start the first quarter. Here at Carrara Oval, as we see Micken doing the ruck work, he got it down too to Richardson. Richardson, it doesn't take long for Paul Ruse to get into the game. He gives the hand pass across to Darren Kepler. Kepler on the left foot, oh, he's got a man out wide. This looks like Billy Loke. No, it's not. In fact, it's young Armstrong, Matthew Armstrong, up towards half forward, and the mark has been taken. Yes, said the umpire, has been taken by Mark Micken, ducking back to the half-back flank. Good leadership by Micken as he gives a hand pass to Dunnell. He breaks through the tackle. Dunnell puts the ball out wide. It's dropping short. Osmond in front for Fitzroy. Can't regain it. I thought it was a free kick to the Bears, but we see MacGyver and Rendell. Rendell combined to put the ball out. It's picked up and driven back by O'Keefe for the Bears, but Loken's in the way, and so Bill Loken. Centre of the ground. Goes short. Connell in the front, it's punched away, McIver coming through, gives the hand pass to Rendell, likewise out wide, Graham Osborne, onto the left foot, swings the ball across the ground and Barwick takes a lovely mark. Now with the breeze behind him, Doug Barwick from here, 55 metres out, should have the shot. Well, even in, into a breeze, Doug Barwick, I'd back him from 55 metres, one of the longest kicks in league football, this guy, and uh, he is a sensational kick, well noted for it now. And I would doubt very much if he wouldn't make the distance. Just a matter of accuracy as Doug Barwick comes in with a long driving drop punt. That is a beautiful kick. It's a goal. The first score of the game to the Lions, kicked by Doug Barwick. One goal, six points with Fitzroy. But let's remember that Fitzroy do have the advantage of the breeze. It's on replay, Graham Osborne, a blind turn onto the left foot. Well placed kick and Barwick takes a well judged mark. Back with the centre bounce. Matt Rendell against Mark Micken. The two respective skippers, no chance of that ball as Richardson had a good hold of Leon Harris. So another bounce will take place about 10 metres wide of the centre circle. No restriction on the number of players in at this bounce, so a big pack of players around. Micken gets the tap, runs through towards Reigns, taken by Keane, well smothered that time by Fidge. Fidge gets the short kick in. Williams, Fidge and Reigns collide and that allows Armstrong to swoop on the ball, hooks the ball down towards Scott at the back. It's over the back of Scott, he couldn't take it. Over the boundary line it goes. A throw in to take place right alongside the behind post. Forward pocket for Fitzroy. Mark Scott, a very, very uh, competent player down there at full forward. He's a great kick for goal and can do the ruck work in the forward line as Bernie Quinlan did over the last couple of years. There's Micken, who's also a very, very underrated player, Mark Micken. Came up to the Brisbane Bears from South Australia and was made captain, which was a feather in his cap. He is a very, very good ruckman, as we see him doing the ruck work here against Scott. Micken oh, took beautiful position. Mike Richardson is uh, playing very, very well for the Bears since coming up from Essendon to Banfield. Over to Philip Walsh. Now he gets onto his... Oh, gets flattened. It should have been a free kick upfield there. He was whacked right across the head. And the umpire chose to ignore that one. Could have been a free kick upfield, as I said. Now it's right in front of our commentary box here. On half-forward flank for Fitzroy. Rendell. Over the back, he gets the tap out. Richardson was in there. Oh, some strong work going on there at the base of the pack. Leon Harris, he's in there. Players trying to crash through. John Fidge is there, number 10 for the Bears. Couldn't get away with it. And once again, umpire Rowan Soares will bounce it. Half forward flank for the Bears. Rendell and Micken. Rendell hits it out, but it's straight to Walsh, who's on his wrong foot. Kepler, Darren Kepler. Back it comes to Grant Laurie. Laurie on the left foot, a long raking kick. Matthew Campbell waits over the back. The ex-South Australian, oh, beautifully done. As he crashes his way out of that pack, a little stab pass further afield was too high for Mike Richardson. Grabbed by Rendell, a floater towards the pocket. Barwick, oh, came over the top of his teammate. Grabbed by Hardy, across to Matthew Campbell. Campbell to centre wing. Buckley underneath the ball. Flying over the top was Ross McIver, but it... Scott McIver, I should say, and he knocks it over the line once again on half-forward flank. Not enough talking there on the Fitzroy forward line. Um, Barwick coming over the top of Armstrong. Micken and Rendell jostle the position. Micken gets a tap, but it's taken by Rendell. Kick off the side of the boot. Reynoldson from behind. Gets a big fist to it. Come, coming through was Pekin. Intercepted by Walsh. 
Rains was also there as Walsh gets the ball out now. Banfield pops one too high, and so he doesn't wait for the free kick. Gives it out to Rains. Rains a long hand pass onto Reynoldson. He gets rid of the ball, but Richard Osmond comes on the scene. Richard Osmond was looking for Connell, but the kick went too far, and Mark Roberts showing good anticipation. Coming out from fullback, getting good support from O'Keefe. After the shepherd, he gave the hand pass to O'Keefe. Putting it wide, he finds McCarthy out wide on the half-forward flank. The hand pass to O'Keefe again. The Bears looking good as O'Keefe goes down towards the forward area. And a good strong mark taken there by Mark Williams. Yes, beautiful football right from the half-back line. Mark Williams kept his eyes on that ball. Strong mark by the ex-Collingwood player. Look at that. In front of the pack, he didn't deviate. Kept his eyes on it and a strong mark. But that was beautiful team play all the way up that outer wing here at Carrara Oval. The scoreboard at the moment shows the only score of the game is to the Lions, and that was a goal. Mark is normally a funny-looking kick, but normally pretty accurate. No doubt about that one, said the goal umpire. Straight through the centre, and scores are dead level, one goal apiece. Excellent, Excellent teamwork by the Bears to come up the ground in fine style. It started from full-back, with Mark Roberts showing great initiative to take a bit between the teeth. He went and met the ball, Hand passed it on to O'Keefe. O'Keefe put it out wide to McCarthy. And eventually it was O'Keefe who put it down again. Rendell and Micken. The bounce favours Rendell. Puts it wide. Graham Osmond trying to force the ball through. O'Keefe came in for the Bears. But a pack is forming. A big pack of players there. And so the umpire coming in to decide that he will bounce the ball. Still almost in the centre of the ground. Backhander by Rendell, taken by Reigns, not a good kick. Rendell in the thick of things so far. Fitch coming across, he was held when not in possession of the ball. Harris gets the ball out to Keane. Keane floats the ball forward. It's Roberts against Scott, punched away by Roberts. Good defensive work in that last line. It looked as though Mark uh, Scott was going to take uh, an easy mark, but it was punched away just at the last minute. Well, he's a very good player, Mark Roberts. We saw him do very, very well in a night game on uh, Warwick Kappa. Go in with Scott in the front position. Micken gets a tap away. Barwick, lovely snap. Two goals to Doug Barwick. Two excellent goals. One from a direct shot, one from a snapshot. Great play, Doug Barwick. Well, that was a tremendous goal. Two goals straight, Fitzroy, to one goal, the Bears. But he took that one off the pack. It was, watch this as we see Scott cleverly got it down to Barwick in replay. Barwick scouting the packs and he put a banana kick on that one. It was... No fluke about that kick. That was deliberately kicked and a beautiful kick. Well done, Doug Barwick, for his second goal. A very dangerous player. A bounce to the ball back in the centre. Micken against Rendell. Grabbed by Graham Osborne. Oh, down they go again with John Fidge using great judgment. Ducks back to take the mark. Now, oh, an ordinary looking hand pass. Put Roberts under pressure, but he's going for a further hand pass. Many years ago, that was regarded as bad play on the back line, of course, as Donnell receives, gives it back to Roberts. He was so tired, I think, after that run. He kicked it about 20 metres, grabbed by Graham Osmond, who's in everything, and a long raking kick. Barwick ducks back, can't take it. Richard Osmond picks it up at the back of the pack, slams a goal, and there's the third one. Third goal of the game on the board to the Lions. They're looking very dangerous. Three goals straight to Brisbane Bears, one goal. But let's not forget, they do have the aid of the breeze, and it is quite a strong breeze. So it's understandable that they've started in this fashion. The replay, Doug Bowie, there with Brad Hardy, and Richard Osmond swooping on the ball at the back. And back at the centre. Micken against Big Rendell. Rendell doing exceptionally well so far. Making a big doubt whether he'd start or not in this game is Scott McIver, the former Queenslander himself. Not a good kick. It's taken by Philip Walsh. A quick hand pass to Reynoldson. Back to Walsh from the centre. Walsh goes towards half forward where we see McCarthy and Ruse. The two-out duel. McCarthy offloaded but comes in with a nice hand pass across to Williams. Stephen Williams goes short towards his brother Mark. Over the 50-metre line. Kapler coming in. The two former South Australians against each other. Pushing the back has been paid. And a Brisbane Bear free kick will come out of this. There's no doubt that it was a push in the back. Mark Williams it was who gave the ball back. And to his brother, Stephen Williams, 
and from about 40 metres out, Stephen Williams will have the shot at goal. Not an easy shot. Got the breeze coming over the shoulder. So it's Stephen Williams. Favours the drop punt. It's a nice looking kick. Not quite on line. Punched away. Mike Richardson's in the square. Can't quite take possession. Tackled too high that time and we'll find young Truella. Now I would believe this would be his first kick in VFL football. Has played one night game, but uh, no day games prior to this as Truella puts it wide. Leon Harris. Probably thought he was playing against his brother today. As Brad Hardy intercepts beautifully. Gets it to Banfield. On now to Reigns. Reigns was going for the long kick, but it was off the side of the boot. Graham Osmond intercepting. His hand pass goes straight to Mike Richardson. Richardson's kick off the side. Favours Truella, and he takes a timely mark. T hand passes immediately, and it's taken by Thornton across to McIver. Scotty McIver, the former Queenslander himself, down towards half-back. Now, is this Osmond or Kapler? This time it's Osmond. They look very alike, those two players. A shocking kick. Mark Buckley shouldn't have played on because he's on his hammer, but Paul Ruse, you can't muck around with this guy as Ruse goes towards the centre of the ground. Young Armstrong, a very promising player. Oh, he gets unloaded. A high tackle. Now... Matthew Armstrong, number 14. I saw him in a night game against North Melbourne two Friday nights ago. You saw that in replay, a very, very high tackle. And let's hope the young fella's all right. He doesn't because, look too good. I well, think they're calling for a stretcher. Well, that's rotten luck because he is a very promising young player, Matthew Armstrong. Watch this again. As through he comes, oh, head high tackle by... Stephen Williams on that occasion. And I think in, uh, seeing we're in Queensland in rugby parlance, a stiff arm. Stiff arm tackle and uh, they hurt. And there's young Matthew still on the ground. Let's hope it's not too serious. At least he is certainly conscious. Let's hope he can go on with the game. The umpire's called play on as we see Truella kick out long. Fidge against Osmond. That'll be a terrific contest. Johnny Fidge picks it up beautifully. Look for Mark Roberts who butters up well. A hand pass back to Brad Hardy. Hardy ducks around. There's a bit of the Brownlow medal skill towards centre wing. That was in the back. No doubt about that. It'll have to come back. Centre wing. The Bears. They're putting everything into this game. A most important game for them. Williams across to Hardy. Hardy with a long kick. Right down towards half forward. Rendell ducks back. Couldn't take the mark. Thornton, hand pass looking for Graham Hinch, and I oh, did that beautifully. That was good play to McIver. Further afield to Grant Laurie. Laurie back to McIver. That's beautiful teamwork. And now this will test the kicking skills. I said he's one of the best kicks in VFL football. The goals are open. Doug Bowick can see that he goes with a long raking drop punt. What a kick. Oh, top kick by Bowick. I said he's one of the best kicks in league football. That proves it. Four goals straight, Fitzroy to Brisbane, one goal. Yes, and it's not as though he's uh, not on any player of note because Frank Donnell has been around for quite some time. In fact, uh, played 99 games with Essendon. Premiership so, sides. Yes, and uh, Doug Barwick doing it well at the moment. He's having an exceptional year, Bobby, as you see that kick in replay. That was kicked from 60 metres out and an intelligent play too because he saw that it was uh, the goals were open. 24 points to six as once again Fitzroy go forward, but Brad Hardy, using judgment, takes it, dummy the hand pass. And it comes straight across the ground. Didn't quite mean to come as wide as this, but it runs over the boundary line before Grant Lowry or Mark Buckley can get there. And the throw-in to take place right in front of the Fitzroy interchange bench. Almost 14 minutes into the first term here at Carrara. An excellent crowd as Micken gets the ball down. Banfield's a hand pass intercepted by Loken. Loken going forward, Barwick at the back, Fidge comes in, gets good support from Roberts, the hand pass over the top from Roberts finds Reynoldson, being told that he's clear, has time to steady, Reynoldson up the ground, Rendell up high, couldn't take it, but it's taken by Pekin, a long kick back, Fidge in the way, takes the timely mark. And John Fidge, thought about the hand pass to Mickin, he should have given it, now he gives it, puts Reynoldson under pressure, Will being allowed, Fidge would have been given the free kick as the kick goes wide. That'll be a free kick to McCarthy because Ruse was up into the back of Michael. McC and so the ex Hawthorne centre half forward, well, utility player at Hawthorne, but doing an excellent job at centre half forward so far this year for the Bears. 
McCarthy goes long, looking for Hine. It's punched away. Truella. Walsh intercepts. Over the boundary line it goes. No, a free kick has been found to Fitzroy. And so young Truella will take the kick in the back pocket. Mark Truella. This time it's Mark Micken. Micken was looking to hand pass. A oh, well-placed kick and Mark Williams takes the mark. So it's Mark everywhere. Truella, Micken and now Williams. With the crowd, Bobby is certainly getting behind the, the Brisbane Bears players. They cheer and clap everything that they do. As we see, Mark Williams, who will kick from exactly on the 50-metre line. This will test him out with his kicking. It's a good-looking kick. They're right up to the square. The players fly. It's off the hands of Tuella and through for the first behind of the game to the Bears. And they move on to one goal, one, seven to the Lions. Four goals straight. And as is common practice in league football, it doesn't matter who kicks in. The fullback is not necessarily the player who kicks in. On this occasion, it is Graham Hinchin. He's got a loose man in thought, and they do that well. They started that off under Robbie Walls, running from the half-back line. Oh, good gutsy mark. Reigns across to David O'Keefe. O'Keefe runs to half forward. He's trying to centre this ball. He does. They're outnumbered. The Bears were outnumbered there, but Mark Williams has got it. He puts it on the ground. It's forced forward towards the goal square. Thornton is there. Eventually, it's knocked further afield. Kepler couldn't retrieve it before the ball was forced through for another behind. So, one goal to the Bears. Fitzroy on four goals. And once again, a different player kicking in. This time, it's Grant Laurie. Again, the loose man is there, this time in Rendell. And Matt Rendell takes the mark almost in the back pocket. Mike Richardson will get 15 metres if he's not careful, and that's what the umpire said. As Rendell plays on, oh, gee, they're getting that loose man going. Out to Graham Hinchin. Hinchin towards half forward. Leon Harris in front. Thumped away. Jeff Rains at the base of the back. Oh, beautiful skills by Rains. He centres the ball, but it's a bad kick because chipping in and taking the mark is Graham Osborne. A long raking kick is Barwick. Oh, he's dropped the sitter. John Fidge has been moved on to him. Back to Roberts. Oh, they've lost it. Barwick, can he kick his fourth? He picks it up beautifully into the open goal goes Doug Barwick. Four goals in a magnificent individual effort. And how well he picked that ball up. It's a difficult thing to do. Five goals straight Fitzroy. Brisbane, one goal, two. And you're hot, you're hot, Pete. And right now, we'll see a piece of the play as the hand pass came out. It was missed by Roberts. Kicked off the ground by Barwick. After it, he goes again, and as I said, when things are going right for you, they certainly do go right. And it's very rare that you see any player, whether it be a full forward, a half forward, Frank, a forward pocket as Barwick is playing today, kick four goals in one term of football. Good coaching by Park and to have him down in that forward pocket alongside Mark Scott. Brad Hardy in at the centre bounce for this one. Scott McIver at the back, Phillips is there. Keen couldn't get it clear. Reynoldson was caught. Micken punches it on. Range runs into trouble but got the hand pass out. Dunnell coming through. Must get the free kick as Ooh. Frank Dunnell was held. Sheesh. Caught one too high as well. And uh, Frank Dunnell doesn't look too good either. You feel a lot better once you're told it's your free kick. But oh, there, that's where he caught one. And there's no doubt that he copped a heavy one to the head. And he is very groggy at the moment. It looked a bit of elbow in that one, Bobby. 15 metre penalty. And I think you'll find that Dunnell will go straight off the ground after this. He, he should for mine anyway as he gave the hand pass to Micken. Out wide it comes. It runs past Buckley. Buckley got the hand pass. McCarthy. Likewise out wide to O'Keefe. O'Keefe comes across the ground looking for Phillips. And that player doesn't take the mark but gets the free kick anyway. Could be a 15 metre penalty against Thomas. That's Cool's play. Puts it within distance, Bob. That is Furley's play because he wouldn't have made the distance from the 50 metre mark. No way. So now he's kicking from about 40 metres out. And so it's Brenton Phillips. Five goals in the second half of the first game, the night game against North Melbourne. Phillips lining up. He makes the distance okay, but he's hooked the ball and it's one point on the board for the Bears, kicked by Brenton Phillips. So it's 1-3, nine points to five straight goals, 30, and four of that five have been kicked by the one player, one Douglas Barwick. 
Grant Laurie to put the ball back into play for Fitzroy. Coming straight down the ground with the aid of the breeze. Looking for Hinchin, but that's a nice mark to Banfield. Banfield doing the roving today. Hand passes across to O'Keefe. O'Keefe straight up the ground. Hoping for the height of Hine or Micken. Micken almost took it. Scott McIver's there. Williams hand passes to his brother Stephen who might get the free kick. But the umpire, I think, decides that he'll bounce the ball about 30 metres out from the Bears' goal. Most important that the Bears get some sort of score here, preferably a goal, of course, because they've had a good start, Fitzroy. Here's Scotty McIver, kicks it off the ground. Oh, that's as good as a normal kick down towards the centre. It's a free kick going to Fitzroy. Banfield going on and off the ball with Harris, which would mean that Hardy would be coming off on and off the ball with the Fitzroy player in Armstrong. Well, that was Hinchin getting it down. Mark Roberts punches it away off the ground. He brings it towards half forward. Now, Graham Hinchin uh, on half forward flank. Uh, about a 10 metre kick around the boundary line, but it's still on Fitzroy's forward zone on half forward flank. The ground in magnificent condition, a good opportunity for players to display their skills. One goal, three Brisbane, five straight Fitzroy, a great start. Banfield to Hardy. Hardy from the half back line, a short one. Kapler has played a very good first quarter. Darren Kapler. He's looking very much like Graham Osmond. Two left footers about the same height. Up towards half forward, the high flyers are there. Mickey Conlon hasn't been in it as yet. Grabbed by Keane. The ball is smothered. He goes in after it again. Now it comes loose to O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks for Danell, but Richard Osmond is there. He can give a hand pass. No, he elects to kick it to Conlon, who can't quite trap it, but Barwick's there, the man of the moment. A lot of pressure on the Bears, as Matthew Campbell, beautifully done, comes across the face of goal to Hardy. Hardy further afield to Mark Roberts, and a lovely pass finds Philip Walsh. That was good team play. Onto the right foot goes Walsh. He kicks it wide. Oh, a strong clash. Kapler kept his eyes on the ball, as did Mark Buckley and the ball was forced over the line. Scoreboard shows five goals straight the Lions, one goal, three the Bears. So Hine doing the ruck work, gets it down to Banfield. And the umpire's found a free kick for in the back. Umpire Rowan Soares deliberating on that one and saying that Philip Walsh, ex-Collingwood and ex-Richmond, of course, will take this free kick on half-back flank. He brings it towards the centre of the ground where the mark has been taken. It's a good mark, too by Scott McIver, a hand pass, further field to Laurie, back to Rendell. Rendell on the left foot, a wobbly old kick, who's there? A gutsy mark, a very courageous mark by Keith Thomas at the 50 metre line. Now with the breeze behind him, Bobby, he should make the distance. Yes, it's a uh, good disposal, Keith Thomas, a former Norwood player from South Australia. And Keith Thomas, well, Neil Hine is standing right on the 50 metre line, so he'll kick from about 55 metres out with the aid of the breeze quite make the distance off the hands of the pack wasn't online anyway well on down there Tip is a little bit frayed there's uh, Mark Scott Mark Roberts and uh, well there was a couple being thrown there I don't think Frank Donald's too happy with the treatment that he got uh, what do you think Pete well I couldn't imagine Mark Scott he's not the sort of player to go in throwing his fist around but uh, they're not too happy Richard Osmond doesn't take a sidestep Mark, Robert, Mark uh, Scott just wants to get on with the game and that's the normal way he plays it too, Mark. Still, nothing, uh, the crowd always liven up and there's a bit of fisty cups. 1-3-9, Brisbane, Fitzroy, 5-1-31 as we see Mark Roberts, formerly of the Sydney Swans. And a very underrated player, a pretty quick for his size and uh, a prodigious kick normally. Let's hope he doesn't let me down after that rap. Oh. Not all that great as he kicks it wide and Philip Walsh takes a diving mark on half-back flank. And on a ground like this, you've got no problems to dive and take those marks because it's in magnificent condition as Walsh puts the ball forward. Grant Laurie was up higher than anybody else, punches the ball away, over the boundary line it goes and the throw-in will take place midway between centre wing and half-forward flank for Fitzroy. From the throw-in, Hine from behind, a lovely tap. Phillips couldn't take the ball. Tackle too high there against Reynoldson and Stephen Reynoldson. Centre half back for the Bears will take the free kick. He's on the half back flank at the moment. That's a shocking kick. Drops short. McIver showed a lot of courage to come across and take that. Gives it across now as Wendell puts the ball down towards centre half forward. 
Fidge coming through, but can't quite trap it. Richard Osmond straightens up. A lovely kick of the ball under normal circumstances. This one, no different. And Richard Osmond puts it through for the sixth goal of Fitzroy as they go to six goals, one, 31 to one goal, three, nine points. Richard Osmond has kicked his second goal. He and Barwick have kicked all the goals as we see in replay. He sprinted away, straightened up, and under no pressure whatsoever on that occasion to put through the sixth goal. A very dangerous player is Richard Osmond with he and Barwick up there. Well, they've got to do something about those two players because they've looked dangerous right from the start of the match. Hine against Rendell. Hine actually got that one down to Richardson, grabbed by Pekin. Pekin a high one, looking up for Keith Thomas. Oh, he got the bounce of the ball, but he ran at it. He deserved to get it, was tripped up. And uh, Keith Thomas, formerly of Norwood, will take this free kick out on the centre wing. Now, he elects to hand pass to Graham Osmond. That was good play, a high one. Now, who's there? Barwick in front. He's got it. No, not quite. Knocked away by Finch. Over to Reynoldson. Barwick does the tackling. Reynoldson is under pressure as he kicks it off the side of his boot. Gary Keane swoops on it. The big fellow. Oh, he tries to go for the run. Back to Barwick. He's got it in the back. Oh, boy, he was lucky to get away with that. The Brisbane Bears player. Barwick goes. And now they said, oh, exactly the same decision. And very lucky then the Bears. Very, in fact, Barwick is going the other way. Well, now, that was afterwards. play by John Finch. Now, he was giving good support. Now, Barwick was very lucky that he wasn't reported. It was a silly play by Barwick originally, and then even sillier play by Doug Barwick, by, by John Finch, because Barwick had been penalised, and the free kick was going to go to Philip Walsh. So it's Doug Barwick. Four goals so far in this first quarter. Kicking from 55 metres out to the hoops of the crowd. A shocking kick by Barwick into the square and Scott. A cool play on by the umpire. Kicked off the ground that time by Richard Osmond. And he's got three on the board. Barwick set four. That's the seven goals kicked by Fitzroy. 7-1-37 to the Bears. 1-3-9. Peter Knights has reacted very, very swiftly. He has taken John Finch straight off the ground after that incident. Rick Norman, the former North Melbourne player, is coming on as we see in replay. Richard Osmond, look, he had time to pick that up. Did he? Well, I don't know whether he actually picked it up in the finish. He went to, and then he just kicked it off the ground. Through Soccer for a style, goal. I'd say. Soccer style. Three goals to Osmond, four to Bowick. Great individual efforts. Centre bounce. Scott in there now. Couldn't get the tap. It was beaten for it by Hine. Jeff Rains was held when not in possession. The loose ball comes out now from Reynoldson to Campbell. Campbell's kick dropping short. Brenton Phillips is there. Able to get the ball towards McCarthy. Can't pick it up the first time, but now does. Goes for the short pass. The lead coming from Mark Williams. And right onto the chest of Williams. A lovely kick coming from Michael McCarthy. Williams jumps up. Plays on immediately. Puts it up towards the square. Mickens there. Can't take it the first time. There's a pack forming. Hand pass, not actually through, it hit the post, that one hand pass coming from Darren Kepler. And so we'll find one point going on to the Bears. So of their one goal four, two of those points have been rushed through as Chuella and Phillips raced after it. Chuella beaten through it by Brenton Phillips. Phillips hooks it back, looking for Buckley. Punched away that time by Laurie, intercepted by Thornton, but that kick goes straight onto the chest of Neil Hine. His hand pass to Campbell. Campbell shows a good turn of speed. Puts it out wide. Looking for the lead from Richardson, who's got Pekin as a tail everywhere. Pekin hand passes forward, and it's Graham Osborne who gets the favourable bounce. He's played an excellent first quarter. A lovely kick. Hardy once again too loose against Thomas. The hand pass to Lake with a beautiful tackle by Walsh. Brad Hardy making up for that. Tackle by Keane. Gets it out towards Philip Walsh. Walsh puts the ball wide where David O'Keefe is all on his own. Nobody near him. Time for one bounce. Has another. Nobody running at him. Swings it across the ground towards centre-half forward. Backing back Mark Scott, and he takes the mark. What they need badly, the Bears, is someone up forward to take, uh, take a big mark as Truella gets it wide. Oh, gee, once they get that loose man going. Thomas, they look good, the Roys, over there to Thornton. Thornton further afield to Ruse. He was grabbing, he didn't have it. Play on, said the umpire. In they go after it. Some good shepherding by Ruse. 
crashing his way through was Reynolds and it's, he's dispossessed of the ball over to Steve Williams Williams to Reigns Reigns is hotly pressed by Keane was grabbed when he didn't have the ball Jump by called play on a bit stiff there as we see McIver to Kapler who has looked very impressive in this first quarter this is danger for the Bears over the back is Rendell he's going to do this shepherding to allow his smaller players through let's kick quickly oh gee that was by Crumlin but it was forced through for a behind for the Brisbane, well, actually for Fitzroy by Rick Norman, who came on the ground a moment ago in place of John Fitch. There's Mickey Conlon. Hasn't been in the game so far. Matthew Cat Campbell picking him up and playing very, very close checking football. Mark Roberts on screen. 7-2, plays 1-4. Fitzroy doing well. Hardy marks. Only about 20 metres away from the goals. Brad Hardy's going for the hand pass. He's got two men to give it to. He finds Rick Norman. Norman from half back towards the wing. Reynoldson flies and takes a good strong mark in front of Scotty McIver. So Steve Reynoldson, centre wing. In towards the centre. The lead coming from Jeff Rains. He played on. He did play on. The correct call from the umpire. And Rains very, very fortunate that he was now free kick for holding the man. To Reynoldson. Philip Walsh. A wobbly looking kick. Could be effective, but Mark Buckley cannot gain possession. Laurie doing a good job against Buckley. Hand passes to Thornton. Excellent teamwork by Fitzroy as the hand pass came across there and Ruse puts the ball long down the ground. Barwick up high, punches the ball away. Dunnell, Red Reddendell, Mark Roberts comes in, but it goes over the line. And we see the Bears, one goal, four, ten points. Fitzroy, seven goals, two, 44. 31 and a half minutes have gone in this first term here with Carrara. Fitzroy with the advantage of about a four goal breeze, but they've played by far the better football. Hine gets the ball down. Dunnell, Brad Hardy, tackle was a little bit high, I thought. It's the original tackle. The arm came down, it was in around the waist, but I thought it was too high in the first place, Pete. A good camera shot there at Keith Thomas. He was a bit disappointed, but there's the siren to end a brilliant first quarter by Fitzroy. Seven goals, two, 44 for the quarter to the Brisbane Bears, 1 4, 10. Second term about to commence, 44 to 10 in favour of Fitzroy. Mark Micken. Matt Rendell, Micken got the tap, not clear. Leon Harris picked the ball up and put the ball forward. Punched away by the Lions, not the Lions, the Bears man in Frank Dunnell, but a free kick has been found and it goes away of Bill Logan. Thought about giving the hand pass. Now goes for the pass with the lead from Barwick and Barwick is running hot. He's, uh, well, I think Matthew Campbell looks as though he might have the job. No, it's Rick Norman out there on him at the moment. Well, he's got a tough job, and uh, that was a good lead. Now, this will test his kicking ability because he's into the breeze and he's kicking from the 50-metre line. Now, I You said it wouldn't matter. I said it wouldn't make any difference down the other end. Let's see what he does with this kick. Look at that booming drop punt. Have a look at that for a kick. He's put the centre, and he's put it through by 15 metres. Now, I rate him as one of the best kicks in the league. 8-2, 50 to 1 4 10 and that is prodigious kicking five goals by Doug Barwick in a great individual effort that is the one thing that Peter Knights would not have wanted as we see on replay Rick Norman well I'm not trying to punch the ball away in a decisive enough manner for mine but Peter Knights would not have wanted Fitzroy to kick that first goal five got five goals from six kicks to Barwick Bobby O'Keefe has the ball run past him Graham Osmond, the loose ball comes out. Stephen Williams is beaten for it by Keane. Gary Keane puts the ball forward, and guess who it is? Well, Doug Barwick. I don't know. He's passing this one. I don't think I would have backed him from there anyway, but what a great performance by Barwick. Not only has he kicked five, but he's given a beautiful pass here to Mark Scott, who incidentally is a very good kick for goal himself. This is a poor start to the quarter by... Uh, uh, Brisbane, this is exactly what they didn't want as Scott lines up, he hooks it from left to right like a golf uh, shot inside out and through for another one. So, nine goals to 56 Fitzroy, they are slaughtering the Brisbane Bears, one goal for 10. This is the most worrying time for the Brisbane Bears and Peter Knights. They must get this next goal. They cannot afford Fitzroy to put another goal on the board. The crowd 
a little quiet and a, a little bit shocked, I think, the fact that Fitzroy have kicked two goals in two minutes into the breeze. Actually, looking at the flags, I think the Bears may be a little bit unlucky. I think the breeze may have swung around and going coming across the ground at the moment. As, a, as Stephen Williams puts the ball forward, intercepted by Paul Roos. Roos goes short into the centre and finds Keith Thomas, who gives it across to Darren Kepler. Kepler showing a good turn of speed, drives it long down the ground. It's a lovely kick. Barwick, can he kick through to it? He cannot. It's well intercepted down there. Hand pass over the top, comes that time from Norman. Across to Dunnell, who has the luxury of a couple of bounces. Close to the boundary line, but just taken by O'Keefe. John Feech getting ready to come on the ground. Almost colliding with the boundary umpire, or vice versa. As O'Keefe towards centre half forward. McCarthy couldn't quite get to it. Stephen Williams is in there, so too Paul Ruse. The hand pass comes out to Kapler. Kapler goes for the hand pass, looking there for Laurie. Intercepting and almost throwing it across was Keane. Does get it back to Laurie now. Back to Keane again. He, well, you could say he dropped. The tackle too far, too high, and in the back. And the Bears to Stephen Reynoldson, who will relieve the pressure temporarily. I think that Darren Kepler, number 21 for Fitzroy, is going to be a very exciting player. He's a real dasher, and uh, he swings onto that left foot. He's going to be great to watch during the year as we see Reynoldson. With a long kick towards half forward, Rendell ducks back. Can't take it, Hinch and G. They back up beautifully on the back line uh, to Troy or Hinch. And it could have been deemed to be in possession then. The umpire called the advantage then. Further back it comes to Ruse. Smothered beautifully. Over it comes. Into the open goal goes Mark Buckley. And he stabs it through for a very badly needed goal to the Brisbane Bears. They move on to two goals, 4-16. Trailing Fitzroy, 9-2, 56 as the crowd comes alive. So well, let's hope that, that just gives enough to the Brisbane Bears to make them lift and respond. And this one is on replay. We see it well smothered that time by the big fellow Hine. And from the hands of Neil Hine, Mark Buckley running into the open goal and bringing up full points. Micken against Rendell. A very high bounce. Micken gets the tap. Coming through is Jeff Raines. Long kick by Reigns. Hines got the advantage in height. Couldn't quite take the mark. Got into the back of his opponent. Mark Williams is down there. Pushed out of the way by Thornton. Kicked off the ground. Over the boundary line it goes. Right in front of the small scoreboard that says 16 to 56 in favour of the Lions. So it's 40 point the lead. They're the marks that the big Neil Hine has to take if they're to fire in this game. Back it comes towards the half-back line. Oh, there's Philip Walsh going for the hand pass over the top to Reigns. Reigns a further hand pass. A hook shot at the goals by Mark Buckley. There was Hine. Could have marked that one. Richardson's got it. He's been a quiet player. Over to Banfield. Banfield lines up the goals under enormous pressure and puts it out of bounds on the full. So the Fitzroy back line pressurising the Brisbane Bears forwards and they're finding it very, very difficult to get an open go at goal. Ross Thornton. In the back pocket, Osborne, a long way down from the forward line. It's fisted away. Little Leon Harris is there. He'll be happy to see it head for the line, I would think. No, he keeps it in play to Pekin, who cops one in the back. Advantage is played as we see Truella bringing it towards Keith Thomas. Intercepting for the Bears is Reynoldson on the left foot. A high one. O'Keefe, his former Geelong teammate, was there. Norman was the flyer. Grabbed by Mark Buckley, who's coming right into the game. Oh, lovely mark, too. A low step pass. Call play on. Mark Williams. He's called call play, play on. on. He has to. Off he goes. He's not too happy, Mark Williams. And now, what's happening? The umpire's going to say he ran out of bounds with it. No, I think he, I think when he, he called felt, play on, he must have ran over the line with it. I think he felt that he wasn't, that he hadn't taken the mark. It looked, it looked like a mark to me on replay. I don't know about you. Oh. Fingertips, I know, but... There's a mark, all right. Big pack forming as Kapler gets a long hand pass. Graham Osborne doesn't bounce truly for Graham Osborne. So over the line it went. So we're throwing to take place on the half-back line. And interchange bench for the Bears. Steve Williams. Steve Williams. Chris Waterson was there. It's surprising he hasn't had a run yet too, Bobby. Free kick going the way of David O'Keefe. So I thought Dunnell may have come off when he got that knock as the lead coming from Phillips. Got one in the back. Cool play on as we find Micken trying to force the ball forward. 
cannot do so, hasn't got enough support, it's all Fitzroy as Logan floats the bell back straight into the arms of Steve Reynolds and he's done pretty well so far but so too is Gary Keane at centre half forward. Reynolds at the back mark Williams and this time it's been paid. Top mark. An excellent mark by the vice captain of the Brisbane Bears and well from here he's got the aid of the breeze he's directly in front kicking from about 45 metres out so should make the distance. 2-4-16, a 40-point deficit at the moment to 9-2-56. There's Mark Williams, brings up his second goal, and the Bears go to three goals for 22 to Fitzroy, 9-2-56. Well, that might lift the Bears because they certainly needed a couple of goals. There's Mark, he's a real trier. He uh, hasn't let them down today. He's kicked two, he's trying to urge on his teammates. We see Reynolds, and as Bobby said, doing well in this quarter. A long raking kick. Now, have a look at this mark. He looked to be slightly out of position at first, and he decides to go at the last moment. Centre of the pack, and a good, strong, clear mark. And uh, But they need some of the other forwards firing with him. Bounce of the ball back in the centre. 3-4 plays 9-2, as we see. That was Micken. Well, he's come right into it. Buckley as he gets it further afield towards his teammate and Bretton Phillips. It's a high ball. Hinchin's got a lot of pace. He's leading Mark Williams in the race for the ball, but it beats him over the line. The crowd is... Have a look at this. It's, uh, it's a huge crowd. They're up on the roofs of the buildings and they could hardly pack them in today. There's such a huge crowd. And uh, it augurs well for... It augurs very well for football here in the Sunshine State because, as we see, the ball kicked out of bounds on the full. But they, there is an enormous crowd here at Carrara Oval. As we see, Philip Walsh taking that penalty kick. He is almost, well, halfway between half-forward flank and centre wing. They need another couple of quick goals. There's a low trajectory kick. Williams up in front. Couldn't take the mark. Thornton gets it across to Ruse. Gee, they back up beautifully, this Fitzroy defence. A one-out duel up on centre wing. The ball is thumped away. It's Reynoldson doing well. Loken gets a hurry kick in towards Keane. It went about two metres, that kick. Reynoldson pan. No, it's not Reynoldson. It's Matthew Campbell. Now it's Billy Loken, former South Australian. Onto the left foot, hooks it back. And out, oh, Mark Roberts, a diving mark and a good mark. No, it's not, it's uh, Frankie Donnell, I should say, on half-back flank. He gets it further afield. Now it's uh, Campbell towards centre wing where the mark has been taken by Micken. Micken further afield, Buckley having a good quarter. Mark Buckley on the right foot, oh, holding the man, it must be. No, said the umpire. It's grabbed down there by Williams, he's got it. Tries to hook it back and it was it smothered off the boot, it was, and over the line in that forward pocket. So the throw in. Ball kicked by Mark Williams, but then smothered. 22 to 56 the score. Ten and a half minutes have gone in the second turn. Rendell in the front position. Pine now gets the front, puts it over the back. McCarthy has snapped the board's goal. A lovely looking kick. Excellent goal for the Bears from Michael McCarthy. His first goal. And the Bears, 4-4. 26. Only 30 points down now. The Fitzroy 9-2-56. Well, there's a shot four, of four, that. 28, yeah, I should say. 28. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> well, you're the skill teacher. <laughs> uh, well, that was a good goal to McCarthy as we see that in replay. Have a look at this one. As we see over the back, Rendell actually knocked it himself. Rendell grabbed by McCarthy, the former Hawk. Slams it through for a lovely goal. Back to the centre. Micken really bat battling valiantly. There's Reigns. They really need Jeff Reigns firing from that centre of the ground. Chance for O'Keefe. He's dispossessed of the football. He's still in there though, David O'Keefe. And the umpire will bounce it. It's been a much better quarter because a couple of their forwards are starting to show something down there. Mark Buckley has come into the game. Reynoldson's doing well and it's made a big difference. Mark Williams battling hard. Grabbed by Thornton. He brings it up down. There's Reynoldson again. Gives it back to Banfield. It's smothered. Grabbed by Reynoldson. Good play. Oh, he's dropped that one. Leon Harris charges in after it and the umpire Rowan Soares will have no hesitation in bouncing it. There's the Fitzroy bench. All looking very apprehensive but they've got a good lead at the moment. The Roys played particularly well, but uh, in the past five or six minutes, the Bears really starting to get their act together. 
and this is good for the crowd because they're certainly very parochial. 201 kicks to Brisbane, the average uh, number of kicks for the game, and 193 to Fitzroy. As we see the ball transferred by Norman out of bounds on the full towards the half forward line where the kick will be taken by Grant Lorry. So Lorry from the half back flank naturally went on the boundary line. Michael McCarthy on the mark. It's Grant Lorry. Favours the drop punt. Puts it over the centre wing. Could easily have been a free kick that time to Micken, but it's picked up by Keith Thomas. Thomas runs the ball around the boundary line. Harris just keeps the ball in play. Scott could tap it on. Beautiful play. But Doug Barwick, goal number six coming up as he runs into the open goal. Six goals to Doug Barwick. Ten goals to 62 points for Troy. 4-4, four, four, 28 little bears. Well, that was tremendous play by Mark Scott, as you'll probably see this in replay in a moment. He'll probably go back and congratulate Scott. Here it is. Look at this from behind the goals. A good camera shot of that one. And you saw how cleverly Mark Scott just flicked that the back of his hand. He saw Barwick coming, coming past, flicked it across, and uh, through it went for the easiest goal of the day to Doug Barwick, and that is goal number six. 28 to 62. Micken against Rendell. Approaching the 14 minute mark of the second quarter. As O'Keefe forces the ball forward, tried to kick it off the ground. Kapler intercepts, gets the hand pass across to Thomas. Thomas puts the ball up wide. Here we find Dunnell doing well this time. Traps it beautifully, puts it wide and finds Jeff Rains out on the wing. Rains goes long, a lovely kick from Jeff Rains. McCarthy in front, has the ball punched away. Norman cannot take possession and Kapler this time hand passes across to Grant Laurie. Laurie over the top to Thornton. Thornton will go wide. With a favourable bounce, a free kick would have been paid, but the advantage rule comes and McIver puts the ball wide to Richard Osborne, who gets a nice bounce, could have hand passed over the top, goes towards goal. John Fitch takes good possession, drives the ball out of the immediate danger zone. Philip Walsh and Bill Logan racing after it. Free kick must go the way of Walsh as Logan came over the top of that player and Walsh will take the free kick on half-back flank for the Bears. Walsh. Kick driving short. Mike Richardson against four Fitzroy players there, but couldn't take possession. Roos likewise couldn't take it. Keane taps the ball forward. There's Fitzroy players everywhere. Two against four. As Graham Osborne this time puts it high. A floating kick punched away by Mark Roberts. Richard Osborne and Frank Dunnell. Dunnell taps the ball over the boundary line. Fitzroy players looking for a free kick, but none forthcoming. And as we see the Bears bench, Chris Waterson. Stephen Williams on the interchange at the present moment. Mark Scott, number 23. Mark Micken, number one. Scott gets a tap for Fitzroy. It's taken by Thomas. Kick won't make the distance, and Mark Roberts takes the easy mark. Plays on and puts it wide towards O'Keefe. O'Keefe will give the hand pass. No, he ignores that and elects to go long. Looking for Rick Norman. Couldn't quite take the mark. Kapler's there. Taps the ball back. Grant Laurie. The hand pass on to Graham Osborne. Osborne's got a couple of players in short. Does it. Gives it across to Thomas, who hand passes to Thornton, to Scott. Tackled. Gets it back towards Thomas. Thomas, the short kick, and it's well taken by Ross Thornton. So, Fitzroy getting on top again. Thornton covering a lot of territory, coming right up the ground. You'll love this, Bobby. I've never known a backman yet who doesn't love to sneak down and kick a goal. Well, he hasn't kicked it yet, but... Uh, Ross is a tremendous player for Fitzroy. 112 VFL games, a real little goer, and has put into never beaten this little fella. He'll really enjoy this if he kicks it from right in front. Oh, gee, he almost took it, but I think it's through. Yes, through for a goal, and the Roy's career further in front. 11 goals to 68 to Brisbane, 4 4 28. And he looks a bit exhausted to even enjoy that one, Ross, because it's pretty warm up here. There's number 17, you see, for the Brisbane Bears. I'm surprised he hasn't come on as yet. Their back line's not going well. That's Chris Waterson, former Essendon player. But that was beautiful teamwork. Keith Thomas, a lovely little chip pass across, eventually resulting in a goal to the Roys. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it was Brad Hardy who comes off the ground. Well, he hasn't done much. They've got to get more out of their experienced players. If we see, that's Leon Harris. Oh, Scott always held. The umpire let it go. Now, here's the danger man, Barwick. He's got it. 
Grabbed by the leg. Down it goes to the ground. The umpire calls play on. Now he's going to... Out elect. of bounds, I think, Pete. Out of bounds. In fact, he is signalling the boundary umpire telling Rowan Swords. Forward pocket for Fitzroy. Danger for the Bears as we see Micken coming over the top with the big hit out. Back it comes to Fidge. Fidge out of defence. Rick Norman. Oh, it's shocking hand pass to a man who was covered. I'm very impressed with this player, Kapler. A hurry kick up to the forward line where the mark has been taken by Matthew Campbell. Campbell off the side of the boot, but it finds a teammate there in David O'Keefe. O'Keefe from the half-back line. They badly need two or three quick goals if they're going to be in this. That's a lovely mark. Played a good quarter, Bobby Steve Reynoldson. He has. An excellent quarter of football, Pete. Reynoldson towards centre-half forward. Dropping short, punched away. Hardy has it punched away by Thomas. MacIver comes in, well tackled. The loose ball comes towards Mark Williams. He's tackled. Fitzroy's tackling, in fact, has been excellent as Loken now gets the ball, floats it towards half forward. Mark Roberts in front, punches it away. Good defensive football as the bounce favours Philip Walsh. Walsh will go wide where he's got Brenton Phillips with 50 metres either way. Phillips has time to steady. Swings the ball down now. High with his height, should take the mark. Doesn't do so. Buckley got a push in the back. Mark Williams, big hind, gets it out towards Brad Hardy. Can Hardy swing onto the left foot? Still in play. Hardy with a snap. Hits the post. Bad luck, Brad Hardy. One point kick by Brad Hardy, but as you said earlier, Pete, that when that ball comes down long and high, it must be taken by the big fellow Hine. Well, Grant Laurie's doing a great job on Hine down there, just fisting it away, and he's giving away lots of inches as the mark has been taken by Walsh. Walsh across to Reigns. He'll make the distance from 45 metres. Jeffrey Reigns lines up and slams it through, and the crowd erupts here at Carrara Oval. Gee, they haven't taken long for them to become biased and parochial. You can't see it, but in the background, Brad Hardy has been taken off the ground, and Chris Waterson coming on, so your prediction was right. Bobby, as we see a great camera shot of that one behind the goals as that ball was slammed through by Jeff Reigns. 68 to 35. 33 points to margin. We're approaching the 20 minute mark of the second turn. Very high bounce. The ground in excellent condition. Micken gets a tap. Richardson well covered by Peak, and no matter where Richardson has gone. Tepper's a little bit frayed here. Richardson on the bottom of the pack. He's not too happy. Jeffrey Rain's coming in. And a free kick has been found to Richardson. No. And Brad Hardy on the interchange bench. Kicked off the ground by Hinchin. Out wide. Bill Loken. In pursuit, Philip Walsh. Loken held. We're not in possession. And he'll come out with the free kick. Cleverly done by Loken. And play going on, but the umpire has already stopped play. Logan did play for that one, as Peter said. So it's Bill Logan. He goes short. Tim Pekin has done an excellent job. The long hand pass to Conlon. Back to Pekin. Over the top to Roos. Roos goes long. Richard Osborne couldn't take it. Up and down before acceptances. Dunnell, first on the scene, runs straight into the point post. In fact, was pushed into the point post and will get the free kick. Rather. <laughs> the crowd are hooting. Have a look. They're not, they're not happy with Richard Osmond, but he's hit that padded part of the uh, post, so it doesn't look as... Uh, it's not as serious as it looks when they hit the base of that post. Canal, 102 VFL games. I think that was 99, wasn't it, Bob, with Essendon and uh, three with the Bears, as we see from behind Banfield. Kicking it out wide. Two on one. Now two should win out to the Bears. Some good Chevy. Oh, great play there by Kapler. Gee, I'm impressed with this player. Number 21 for Fitzroy. He's a real little terrier. Yes, that was excellent play by Kapler. One out against two in the first place and then three. And did an extremely good job. Desperation plus to keep the ball there. Last premiership for Fitzroy, 1944. Gee, that's worse than Collingwood, Bob. I shouldn't mention that, of course. It was the Collingwood man who said that. <laughs> I could go a lot further back to South Melbourne's last one. 1933. 33. Heck. From the throw-in, Micken and Keane. Micken gets the tap, taken by O'Keefe. A high floating kick. 
at the back, Mark Scott. Could easily have been a free kick to Michael McCarthy, but Scott it is. Goes across the ground where Graham Osmond's got a panic. Nobody near him. It's time to steady the short pass and uh, beautiful forward work by Doug Barwick. He's led, he's taking them from behind. And well, he'll be kicking from about 52 to 53 metres out. Get one from that distance early in the quarter. It's a little bit more centre now, isn't he? It would make it a little bit harder, but I think he'll make the distance all right, the way he kicks the ball. And with six goals so far, his confidence would be sky high. The distance is there. The accuracy is straight, one point. So Doug Barwick now with six goals, one out of Fitzroy's 11-3. 69 to 35 as Mark Roberts will bring the ball back into play just over the 23 minutes into the second term Roberts uncertain which way to go now he looks for his skipper Micken Micken doesn't take the mark but gets it down to Dunnell likewise on to Reigns Reigns hooks the ball and Kapler takes a well judged mark goes straight across the ground finds Paul Roos Roos goes short onto the chest of Gary Keane Keane when to go short, was smothered off the boot, but Fitzroy backing up everywhere, sees Loken put the ball forward. Mark Roberts takes it, the long hand pass to Walsh. Walsh gives it on to Campbell, who shows a good turn of speed. Shows his pace, hand pass across, takes it back again, gives it to Reynoldson, back to Campbell once again. The Bears looking good as Campbell goes long. Now Hines should take this one, still cannot take the mark. Chuella putting him under plenty of pressure. It's tapped wide by Hinchin. Peekin's there. A hand pass from Peekin out to Lowry. Picked up. Hand pass across. Richardson, Richardson, I should say, was having the shot after a good hand pass from Williams. But only one point goes on the board. Kicked by Mike Richardson. Well, that was magnificent football as we see the score. 5 6 to 11 3. There's Mike Richardson. has been fairly quiet so far in the game, but Campbell, what an electrifying run that was right down the outer wing. Received two or three handballs, gave one. There's Darren Kapler from uh, fullback with a couple of goals, and they'd be right back in this game, uh, the Bears. Out it comes to Graham Osborne from McIver. Oh, this is danger because Thornton's got it. Oh, they've got loose men everywhere as we see. Paul Ruse that can run 50 metres if he wants to. He elects to stab kick it to Keane. Finds Keane on half forward flank. Oh, they're running past in their twos and threes, Fitzroy. An ordinary kick, a shocking kick by Keane. That messed it up completely. As we see Mark Roberts straight down the centre of the ground, the Banfield. Plenty of handball going on in this game as Philip Walsh elects to kick long. That's the way to play it. A 60 metre kick and the bounce favours Mark Williams. Williams to Britton Phillips. Can Big uh, Micken do anything about it? He's got the ball, he's under pressure, but once again they miss it up down forward. That was bad football by the Bears, and Fitzroy were able to get out of trouble. Well, the only good part about that was at least it was unselfish football, and Brenton Phillips will learn from that. He should have had the shot, but unselfish football at least, but he should learn from that. If you're going to kick a goal, well, maybe you have to, as Rick Norman picks the ball up, snaps towards goal, and one point only that time from Rick Norman. Who certainly played a lot better this quarter, Bob. I think if young Hine had been able to take a couple of marks and another couple of goals, it would be, yeah. well, a true indication. 37 to 69. 32 points to margin in favour of Fitzroy as Grant Laurie puts the ball back into play. Paul Roos has the ball punched away. Kapler traps it beautifully. Excellent play by Kapler. He's had a fine game so far as Paul Roos picks it up, gives it out to McIver, on to Loken. Excellent teamwork by Fitzroy as Bill Loken goes long down the ground. Scott in front, can't take it, it's punched away. Barwick swoops on the ball. The hand pass wide to Richard Osmond. Osmond onto the left foot, hooks it back. No mark taken, tapped wide by Mark Roberts. Good defensive work again, thought about the hand pass. A nice shepherd by Campbell. The kick comes out to Reigns. Couldn't take it the first time, but traps it beautifully. Jeff Reigns goes long. Out towards Michael McCarthy. Over the line it goes as Brad Hardy comes on to Perez, Brent and Phillip. No, it wasn't over the line. Well, that was bad play by Fitzroy that time in the person of Grant Lowry. He stopped, thinking it was out of bounds. Michael McCarthy did not stop, and the, the, you do not stop until the boundary umpire blows that whistle. 
So, well, Grant Laurie won't do that again. No, you see Mark Mickett on screen. They're under enormous pressure down there in the full forward position. Over the back of the pack, Mike Richardson. Oh, he's uh, tackled very, very hard. Right in front of the Bears goal as players pouncing on top of it. Play on, said the umpire. The captain of the Bears, Mark Micken, goes in after it in the pocket. He tries to swing onto the left foot. He can't do so. It's grabbed down there and kicked out of defence by Mark Scott. Right up towards the half-back line where the ball rolls over the line and out of bounds. But that Fitzroy defence is very, very good. Very strong and very quick. Fitzroy lead by 32 points. Been a good comeback by the Bears, but they need more at the moment. They're trying very, very hard, but they're against a good side. There was Ruse trying to crash his way through. It's kicked off the ground. Oh, Mark Buckley, well done as he gets it to Donnell. Donnell's usually got a ton of pace. He picks it up at the 50-metre line. A good attempt, a long kick with the breeze, and he puts it through for one point. So they're battling hard, the Bears. 5-8, 38 to Fitzroy, 11-3, 69. They're not out of it yet. A couple of quick goals as we see Scotty Clayton about to enter the arena. Very close to half time, so I doubt whether he'll get a run. Oh, there's a shocking kickoff from fullback by Hinchin. Straight into the hands of Mike McCarthy. About 40 metres out from goal directly in front. What a shocker that was. Mike McCarthy, former Hawk, has already kicked one goal, and this is a very, very vital kick. Almost a straight kick at the goals here. The breeze won't have all that much influence on it. Probably a little bit right to left. And they need this one badly as he stabs at that one. I think he's hooked it. He certainly has. He hooked it right across his body and through for a point. So they're wasting chances. They've had plenty of them. 5-9. Young Armstrong warming up on the bench, and it's good to see that he looks OK. Well, he's a very promising player, Bob uh, Matthew Armstrong. It'll be... He was a good player in the game against North in the night game two Fridays ago. Grant Laurie to put the ball back into... It's a lovely kick against the breeze. Buckley from behind tried to punch the ball away, but when Paul Roos is in the front position, it's very hard to punch the ball Say away. Say that again. Roos went for the hand pass. Poor play on that occasion. McCarthy intercepts. Was tackled too high. That could be a free kick to Norman. It's two is called play on. Umpire's letting the play go as Kepler takes possession. Well tackled. Excellent tackle. Waterson picks the ball up. Puts it down long. Looking there for Brad Hardy, but he's uh, beaten two on this occasion by Graham Hinchin. Hinchin from the back pocket towards the wing. Hine was up. Couldn't take it. Waterson gets it across now to Richardson. Goes short. Williams takes the mark. Now, Mark Williams has kicked two goals. Two of the Bears five. He's only 35 metres out from goal. No angle of note. So shouldn't have any trouble, but whenever you uh, say those things... He very rarely misses, Mark. He's an awkward-looking kick, but he's a very accurate kick. Williams goes for and gets his goal, number three. Number six. They go to six goals, nine. 45 to 11-3. 69. Well, they're certainly not out of it, Bobby. This has been a good quarter. In fact, there should be more goals on the board. As we see in replay, Richardson, in Mike Richardson, instead of blazing away, shows his experience to chip it out in front and give it to Mark Williams. Half-time siren went, well, that was going on. Personally, I did not hear the siren, but at half-time, it's six goals, nine, 45 to 11 goals, three, 69 in favour of Fitzroy. Third term about to commence, 45 to 69 in favour of Fitzroy. Micken gets the tap, picked up by Pekin. Pekin floats it forward, Darnell gets pushed in the back but takes the mark anyway. A 15 metre penalty will be paid against Richard Osmond but he gets the hand pass across Darnell that is, to Campbell. Campbell goes wide, Murphy punches the ball away, not Murphy, McCarthy punches the ball away and Paul Ruse comes away with it. Goes long, Barwick a beautiful lead and he's played an excellent forward game. Barwick goes short, got the lead, Waterson came across, good defensive work, Thomas is there for Fitzroy, Waterson's holding him and he's penalised, that's good umpiring, made no attempt to get that ball out, the hand pass comes to Fitch, time to steady, has one bounce, goes long and wide, looking for Buckley, Roos was up, tapped the ball over the top, goes after it again, pushed in the back but Buckley does well to come out, out with it, goes short, the loose player is Phillips. Phillips over the top to McCarthy. 
McCarthy, does he get around him? He does, he steadies, goes towards goal. No mark taken. The book swung wide by O'Keefe up there in the forward pocket. It's all Fitzroy. Mark Williams against three, four Fitzroy, and Thornton takes the ball away. Logan, got nobody near him. He's got 50 metres, and the only players within that 50 metres are three Fitzroy players. He chooses one of them with a hand pass. It's Pekin. Pekin could give it over the top to Chuella. Chuella coming down the ground. He'll do likewise to Conlon. Conlon a hand pass over the top. And Thomas now. Thomas goes down the ground, but Fitz is in the way and takes a timely mark. Good play by John Fitz as he streaks away from the back line and brings it long up towards centre wing. McCarthy against three Fitzroy players. Over the back was Leon Harris, who's been a fairly quiet player today. Strong tackle there, grabbed by Banfield. Banfield back to Walsh, the two left-footers combining. Up towards half-forward it goes from Walsh, but the mark is taken there by the ever-reliable Thornton. Thornton to Ruse, Ruse to half-forward. Waterson's there, couldn't take the mark. Gary Keane waiting at the back of the pack, knocks it on, tries to follow on. Three or four Bears players surrounding him. Could have been holding the man. Play on, said the umpire, and eventually he'll come in and bounce it almost in the centre of the ground. A very, very strong opening to this quarter. Both sides realising the importance of this first five or ten minutes. 11-3, the Lions, the Bears, six goals, nine. So they've had plenty of scoring shots. Micken doing the ruck work. It's kicked. By Phillips down to half forward, where Kapler, who's been a very, very impressive player, the South Australian, he gets it across there to Rendell. Rendell, oh, a low skimmer, not a good kick, but Osborne leads out in the race for the ball. This is Richard Osborne, beautiful pick up, swings onto the right foot. No, he elects to hand pass instead to Loken. Loken with a floater. John Finch ducks back, could have been a free kick for interference, and the umpire has played exactly that. Off goes Finch. He, I won't say he sprints across, he lopes across towards half back to Reigns, a shocking hand. Ball. Oh, the experience of Reigns gets him out of trouble. Over to Micken. Micken a high ball out wide to Bretton Phillips. Ruse is there. The two, no, number 11 against number one as we see Phillips. Oh, they got loose men everywhere. Reynoldson's obviously playing at centre half forward now. Ducks back and kicks a high one. Mark Williams, oh, went for the mark but couldn't get it. It was thumped away. He ducked back, dived and tried to take it, but it was forced through for a behind. So there's another behind on the board to Brisbane. 16 46. Fitzroy 11 3 69. So that's 16 scoring shots to 14. Laurie up high. MacGyver at the back takes it. Comes wide looking for Armstrong. Back on the ground. Well tackled. Beautiful tackle by Campbell. Just keeps the ball in play. Excellent football, Campbell, as he next up. Uh, nice piece of shepherding there as Banfield attempted to keep it in play, but the Bears have really lifted. They've obviously taken heed from whatever Peter Knights may have said to them at half time, and they're really throwing themselves in at the moment. Micken against Keane. Micken gets the tap down. Waterson forces the ball through. through. Kapler misses it. Picked up that time by Norman. Norman with a long kick down, McCarthy in the front position, Rendell came over the top, Williams was coming through, just couldn't quite take possession, and the short kick comes out from Laurie, over the top comes Waterson, a hand pass to Reigns, Reigns goes long, right up towards the goal square, down towards Williams, but a free kick has been found, for shepherding against Fitzroy, and the kick will be taken by David O'Keefe, did a pretty fair job on the wing, but he's up there at full forward to try and give them a lift with Hine not taking those marks. Hine was taking off the ground and the replay shows Williams coming through now and we saw there the shepherd and that allowed David O'Keefe to bring up what could be the first goal in this second half of football. O'Keefe's first goal, 7-10, 52 points the Bears and the Lions 11-3, 69. Well, that was a very, very vital goal. Whoever got the first one had a real psychological edge to this game. And uh, they're right back in this game. No make mis don't make any mistake about that. I could see signs in the second quarter. Fitzroy was starting to tire just slightly and maybe Learise a little bit. Had a decisive lead and the Bears have clawed their way back into it. A very, very handy goal, that one. As we go back to the centre. 7-10 plays 11-3. Rendell. Beaten for that one. Richardson, he's being hotly pressed by Pekin. 
Well, here they go again through Banfield. He's slung out of the way after he kicked it. This guy is doing well on Ruse now. That's Mark uh, uh, Buckley. All the marks on this. You think of Mark Roberts, Mark Buckley, Mark Micken, and uh, that time it was Buckley heading to the half forward flank. Isn't a player possessed with a lot of ability? So Scott a lot Clayton of pace getting so. ready to come on the ground, yeah. and it'll be Mark Scott to come off. Another mark. Well, here it is. There's Buckley going in after it again as players pounce on it. Mike Richardson's the base of the pack. But the next, uh, another goal to the Bears, and this game will really be on for Young and Old. It's right up on that, uh, well, halfway between centre wing and half forward for the Brisbane Bears. And the umpire doing a bit of lecturing on this occasion. There's a pack of about 13 players in there. Kapler's in there, number 21 on right of screen. McCarthy doing the ruck work, still up there as players pounce on top of it, almost like a rugby scrum, that one, and the umpire will come in and bounce it. 69 plays 52, so the difference is only 17 points. That's three, three straight kicks, and they could be in front. There's Mike Richardson, has had a quiet day, but uh, that full marks the pick and grabbed by Norman. Rick Norman, a beautiful pass. The lead has been made by O'Keefe. Maybe this could be a match-winning move to put O'Keefe up on the forward line. Well, 17 points the margin at the moment. 34 points was the margin at quarter time. So the Bears have come back. As David O'Keefe tries to kick his second goal for the term. It's a nice-looking kick. One point only the result. He would have really lifted the Bears if... Uh, it had gone through, but it was from the angle. It wasn't an easy shot, but it's 7-11. 18 scoring shots to 11-3, 14 scoring shots. So the Bears have had their chances. 53-69, to 69. 16 points to the margin, eight minutes into the third term here at Carrara. Ruse in the front position. Buckley punches the ball away. Over the boundary line it goes, and the throwing will take place on the half-forward line for the Bears. 16 points the margin between the sides. And the breeze has swung across the ground. Uh, opportunity to score at both ends of the ground. Harris picks the ball up. A hand pass over the top to Graham Osmond. To Tim Pekin. On to Loken. Good teamwork by Fitzroy. The ball drops short. Richard Osmond couldn't take it. Donnell gets it across to Campbell. Campbell puts the ball wide. Norman and Kepler racing after it. Norman leads in the race for the ball, gathers it well. Got the hand pass towards Phillips, can't handle it, and Kepler takes the ball away from him. Kepler with a hand pass into Graham Osmond in the centre. Runs past the sports play sign and floats the ball towards centre half forward. Butler. Barwick was in front, gets a push in the back. Well, it could have been well before that even. And Barwick has kicked six goals. He's already shown just how he can kick from angles, from directly in front, what distance he can kick. And he certainly should have no trouble with the distance. He'll be kicking from about 50 metres. Well, that was clever play by Barwick. I think he did deserve the free kick earlier or the mark. And he ducked, he stuck his backside out and arched the back and the, his opponent had no option but to shove him in the back. As we see him from the 50 metre line going for goal number seven, it's a low raking kick, hooks it slightly. And through, he actually ran out that way. Bobby ran out to the right and hooked it. 7-11, plays 11-4, 53 to 70. So once again, 17 points the difference in favour of Fitzroy. The kick comes out to Micken. Only travelled about 15 metres. Now Micken is going to handball this. Dangerous play to Waterson. Waterson transfers the ball. That was a top mark. I that don't was... think Micken wants to kick uh, too far. And... Uh... It was under a cloud coming into the game, oh, so right. it could be a little bit well, suspect. That might be the answer to that, as we see. Oh, that was Thornton getting in the hand pass. Rain showing a ton of pace. Gets it across. Clayton's there for Fitzroy, but it was a push in the back. It was a great mark a moment ago to Philip Walsh on that wing. Now, Rain's, they really want Jeff Rain's. He's been one of their better players today, but he can really take over again. There's his long kick out wide. That was almost in the back to uh, Mark Williams. Oh, good, strong play by Bretton Phillips. Williams is in there now. It's a free kick to Fitzroy for in the back, he says. The That's umpire. for mine. Well, he's paid it, and it's a 15 metre penalty as well to Hinchin. Hinchin, oh, he's got a loose man out wide. This looks like McIver. It is Scotty McIver further afield to Graham Osmond. This is danger. He kicks long and low. Barwick can't take the mark. John Fidge 
a good contest, but Barwick's got too much space. No, free kick to holding the man, said the umpire. That was a bit ticky touch with no, it two was Johnny not. Fidge. You agree with that one? I definitely do. You want to have a good look at this? I think you're barring him a Fitzroy. Oh, I don't know about that one. Still, I Feet. won't argue with the triple Brownlow medalist. <laughs> Feeds from the halfback flank. A poor kick straight into the arms of Paul Ruse coming right down the ground. Ruse on centre wing. Across the ground. Thomas. Thomas towards half forward. Keen. Roberts in the front position. Can't take the mark. Keen picks it up. Gets the short kick forward. Barwick leading in the race for the ball. Held. Comes back. A snap towards goal from Barwick. And it's goal number seven to Doug Barwick. Seven to Barwick. 12 4. 76 points to Fitzroy. 7 11. 53 the Bears. And I think they were going to pay the free kick to Barwick anyway. As we see it in replay now, this is good play by Barwick. I really do believe John Fidge is the wrong man to be playing on Barwick. I think one thing about Barwick, you've got to have a guy who is very, very quick. And I, I know it's robbing Peter to pay Paul, but I'd slam Mark Campbell across onto Barwick because he's the danger player and Campbell is very, very quick. And that's the only way to play Barwick is to have someone who can run with him. From the centre. Bounce favours Micken. Good play by Clayton. Banfield tried to get the ball forward. Rendell comes through. Scott McIver, a lovely hand pass out to Clayton. And Scott Clayton swings it back towards half forward. Campbell in the van. Should have taken that mark. But he butters up well. Traps it beautifully to Reynoldson. Across to Donnell. Banfield. The Bears go straight up the centre. McCarthy the one he was looking for. An awkward bounce. Gordon comes out with the ball, puts it wide. Three Fitzroy against Waterson, and Waterson will win out. Gets the favourable bounce. Has to hook the ball back, but he didn't do so. He puts it straight to Fitzroy. Not good play that time, as the loose man is there with Thomas. Thomas takes it that time from Hinchin. A poor kick from Thomas, but it could be effective as the bounce comes up to Harris. Harris through to Armstrong. He can't take it. Banfield does. Back to Harris again. Taps the ball through to Thomas. Thomas oh. a little short kick across to Logan. Logan goes down, looking for Bowen again. But Fitch is out in front. Played on. Foolish play by Fitch. Too slow to move. Bowen the hand pass across to Osmond. Good defensive work by the Bears. And this time Fitch gets it clear. Picked up by Reynoldson. Has one bounce. The hand pass over the top to Walsh. Walsh now being told he's got plenty of time. Goes short towards Buckley. Buckley a hand pass accepted by Roberts. Roberts now with a long kick. Coming through O'Keefe. Gets an awkward bounce. Picked up by Hinchin of Fitzroy. Hinchin's kick though over the boundary line on the full. And the resultant kick will be taken by Chris Waterson. Well, they got out of jail then the Bears from the back line. That looked almost a certain goal coming up. But still they battled it out and they've got it forward. There's Mike Richardson who's had a very, very uncomfortable day playing on peak. And here's a chance, though, as the short pass comes across to Mark Buckley, who will kick from 50 metres and would probably be a doubt about the distance, I think. He doesn't kick like Barwick does. But still, he is directly in front. They need a goal, and they need it quickly. In fact, they need a couple. 7-11 plays 12-4, 53-76. 23 points the difference as Buckley does a floater. Oh, gee, it might be a goal. It's a good kick. Yes, a great kick by Buckley. A low floater. Got the distance into the breeze. 8 11. 59 the Brisbane Bears to Fitzroy. 12 4. 76. Mark Buckley bringing up his second goal and an excellent goal it was. That's 19 scoring shots to 16, Pete. They've had their chances. They fought back well, and Buckley is one of those players. I thought he was a poor player in the first turn. A high centre bounce. Micken gets a tap. Knocked on by Thomas. Picked up by Logan. Dunnell favoured, but couldn't take it. Campbell coming through. Kicks it off the ground. Good play, Campbell. Loose ball coming towards the boundary line. Scott McIver first on the scene. Reynoldson puts him under pressure, but possibly got into his back. So Scott McIver will take the free kick. Hand passes to Pekin, whose book, the kick is hooked. Armstrong, Campbell. Armstrong does well. Good play, little fella. As the ball floats forward, 
Dunnell comes forward, doesn't trap the ball. Fidge hand passes it out. And we find Walsh. Gets the hand pass now to Dunnell. On to Richardson. Should have the run. Now he'll put the hand pass wide. Where we find Phillips with a paddock in front of him. Steadies. Puts a long kick towards half forward. Williams should have taken that mark. Usually does take those ones. Bruce gets the hand pass out to Thornton. And Fitzroy, well, very adept at getting the loose man going. Bill Loken has plenty of time to steady. The hand pass to Clayton. Over the top to McIver. Scott McIver looking forward to Harris. And Leon Harris takes the mark. He's about 40 metres out from goal. So he'll be kicking from about 45 metres. In the veteran category of 139 VFL games. And well, most of them pretty good games too. Leon Harris, off the side of the boot. Big pack up, Micken gets the tap away. Richardson starting to come into the game in this term. Puts the ball out wide. One for the speedsters. Kepler and Norman race for the ball. Norman does great to dive in after it and trap the ball. And in fact, get a free kick as Kepler dived on top of him. Rick Norman plays on immediately. And the Brisbane Bear crowds come to light as Phillips gets the hand pass forward. Richardson gets around them. Puts a kick across the ground. Reynoldson up, takes the screamer. Stephen Reynoldson has done well for the Bears. Puts the ball wide from the lead from O'Keefe, and O'Keefe takes the mark. Tremendous football. Great football by the Bears, Bobby, because uh, their forward line looks much more dangerous now that O'Keefe is up there, giving them a target. He's moving around, he's leading, whereas before they were just kicking it up in the air and hoping that someone would take a mark. And now they look dangerous up forward. What a handy one this would be. This would take him to 65. This would take him to 11 points behind if he could kick it, but he hasn't. He's hooked it badly and threw for one point. But they're right in this game. It's going to be a ripper last quarter. 8-12-60 Brisbane. Fitzroy 12-4, 76. So it's only 16 points the difference. As we see, once again, a different player bringing it in as we see... Hinchin on this occasion, Laurie thumps it over the back. A chance again for Banfield. Banfield, a wobbly old kick. Mark Williams ducks back. He's gone. Oh, almost took it. Couldn't quite hold it. Oh, round the neck. That'll have to be a high tackle. And back. Look. Oh, gee, did he have his name written all over that, Mark Williams? And he couldn't take it. Yes, usually an excellent mark. And rarely does he miss those. And it's twice in this term that Mark Williams hasn't taken the a high floating kick. Over the back it comes, and it's all Fitzroy. Paul Roos leaves it there for Graham Osborne. Running along behind Osborne, telling him exactly how he goes. Good teamwork from Roos as Osborne floats the ball forward. Mark Roberts went without acceptances. The hand pass coming out from Banfield. It comes to Darnell, put him under all sorts of pressure. Can Fitz trap it? He cannot. The hand pass and the goal coming up. Nobody near Richard Osborne as he runs into the open goal and brings up goal number four for Richard Osborne. 13-4, 82 points, Fitzroy, 8-12, 60, the Bears. Well, that's the difference. Up the other end of the ground, you saw, as we see, have a look at this again in replay, over the back of the pack, a lovely hand pass across to Richard Osborne into an open goal for an easy goal for his fourth. But up the other end of the ground, an easy mark drop there by Mark Williams, a, a costly miss because it would have been a goal, would have got them right within distance and then down the other end and that's when Fitzroy are at their most dangerous when they rebound off the back line because the little players are fast, they run it down in threes and fours and get it quickly to their forwards and put the opposition back line under pressure and that's what happened then and they ended up with an easy goal and instead of being it, it being close, Fitzroy now lead by 22 points. Back to the centre, Mark Micken, 20 minutes gone in this third quarter, a vital few minutes coming up. Here's Kapler, who's been a star today. A beautifully directed kick to half forward, finds another import this year to Fitzroy. Keith Thomas, the former Norwood player, centres at the barling. And I think they've got to move John Fitz. There is no doubt he is too slow to be playing on uh, Barwick, who's very quick off the mark. And well, it's not just a case of pace. He, he takes the gamble, and you can't yeah. afford to gamble on players like Barwick, particularly when they've already got seven goals on the board. Well, Barwick just... will be lining up from directly in front, only 35 metres out. You can hear the fans trying to put him off. And they do as he kicks straight into 
John Finch. Finch takes it, puts it wide. I and love the that delighted ball. Brisbane fans <laughs> as Matthew Campbell has the chance to hand pass on to Phillips. Phillips with a long hand pass to Banfield. The ball's right at the other end of the ground. O'Keefe at the back. Should have puts the ball away, but it comes down to Williams. Williams has snapped towards goal, but he's offline so far, in fact, that it's out of bounds on the full. But excellent play. John Finch took it off the boot of virtually of Doug Bowick. And now we have a throw in at the other. No, not a throw in. It's a free kick to Fitzroy at the other end of the ground. The Cardinals sit in football. That one to kick into the man on the mark from 25 metres. Laurie puts it out. Micken taps the ball down. Fitzroy first in there as they run straight into Stephen Williams. Tapped out. The loose ball picked up by Banfield. The hand pass comes to Reigns. A chance of a goal. Great play by Jeffrey Reigns as he puts it through for his second goal. And an excellent piece of football from Peter Banfield. And he's a playing as a rover today. Banfield's done a fine job. And it's 66 to 82. And that goal being set up for Reigns by Peter Banfield. Yes, that was beautiful play by Banford. Have a look at this. There's uh, Stephen Williams doing some uh, tackling. Some, uh, again, some strong tackling, but desperation by Banfield. Somehow shoveled a hand pass through that pack to the waiting range. And no doubt about range, he won't miss an opportunity like that. He is a great kicker. Oh, it must have been close because he looked very apprehensive about that one. Back to the centre. 9-12 plays, 13-4. 66 plays, 82 is peaking. A high one. Scotty McIver caught behind. Bretton Phillips dropped what he should have taken on that occasion. Grabbed by Reigns. Reigns to half forward. Banfield's dropped the sitter also. In they go after, gee, some mistakes made in that uh, centre of the ground there. But uh, there's a lot of pressure out there at the moment. I'll say Pete, there is uh, a lot of pressure on Fitzroy too because the Bears will be coming home with the uh, slight breeze. I don't think it's anything too much to worry about now, the way they're kicking the ball both ends. But here they go again, Fitzroy. Onto the left foot, it's kicked further afield by Armstrong. Right down towards the half forward. Oh, gee, all sorts of trouble for the Bears. In goes Mark Roberts. Can't get his boot the ball. He's still going after it, the big fella at fullback. Matthew Campbell pounces on it. He's been one of the Bears' better players today. Very impressive on that half-back line. And he pounced on it and kept possession of it right at the 50-metre line for Fitzroy. A bounce of the ball. Sees Micken coming over the top. Gets it to Waterson. Waterson to Steve Williams. The bounce of the ball beats him. Oh, gee, Buckley went in, almost snotted the uh, Kepler. Ruse picks it up and a lovely drop punt. A chance for the high flyers over the back of the pack is Keith Thomas. It comes loose to John Fidge. Matthew Campbell comes in to lend a hand. A beautiful little stab pass out wide. Finds Philip Walsh. Walsh to Buckley. He's going for the spread. He loses the ball. Goes back in after it again. Good play by Mark Buckley. And now he kicks it long. Mark Williams leads out. He's a battler and a real little goer. He's got it on half forward flank. He moves it quickly. Who's there? It's... It's O'Keefe, traps it beautifully. Who's further afield? Rendell and Steve Williams. Steve Williams ducks back and takes the mark at the half-forward position at the 50-metre line. Oh, he's got a loose man to give it to if he wants to. He ignores Bretton Phillips, and he's going back to have a kick. A lot of leads ignored as Steve Williams elects to go for the long kick. Won't make the distance, but it could be the chance in front. No. Over the line it's carried as David O'Keefe couldn't take it. And at one point, a rush through for the Brisbane Bears. 67 to 82. That was poor play. Poor play by Stephen Williams. Bobby had two players within 20 metres of goal on their own. He ignored them to have a shot himself. Grant Laurie. Laurie brings the ball wide. At the back. It's always Fitzroy who have the man at the back of the pack. And this time it's Leon Harris. Harris goes short. Barwick's there. Under pressure that time from Fidge. A lot more pressure. Reynoldson comes out with it. Does well to get the hand pass through to Campbell. Campbell will come forward. Hand pass on to Waterson. Waterson with a steadying kick. Roos takes the front position. Did it well. Mark Buckley led him around. And Paul Roos did that well. Actually, Buckley's done pretty well on Paul Roos since quarter time, Bob. He certainly has. Roos playing his usual steady game, but Buckley hasn't let the Bears down. Reynoldson thumps it down. It's taken by Thomas. Chance of a goal coming up as Thomas puts it forward. Excellent goal by Keith Thomas. He doesn't waste too many opportunities. 
and the former Norwood in South Australia player takes it to 14-4, 88 with Brisbane 9-13-67. Well, Fitzroy seem to be getting their goals a heck of a lot easier as we see in replay. Once again, the ball kicked high on the left foot. A big thump away from Reynolds, and unfortunately for the Bears, went to the left of the uh, screen, as you can see. And Thomas was just sitting there waiting for it. He picks it up and took his time and uh, slammed it through for an easy goal. But up the other end, they're finding it a lot harder on the Bears' forward line. The bounce of the ball in the centre of the ground. As we see Armstrong, a hurry kick. Fidge leads out in the race, kicks it off the ground. You can see his lack of pace on that occasion. As you see, Barwick now gets to the ball in front of him. Hooks it back. Oh, danger this. Ah, oh, yes. You can see the danger as Osborne was kicked left one out with Frank Donnell. Read it beautifully and goes back to have his shot from 12 metres out directly in front. Well, this time on period has been a real problem for the Bears. They, they were hanging in there. Less than three goals down. Now they're 27 points down. And that last couple of goals, five now to... Richard Osborne, and it's 15-4. Excellent kicking by Fitzroy. 15-4. There's Richard Osborne, quite happy, and again, from a different angle. An excellent shot of the one-hander taken by Richard Osborne. Five goals to Richard Osborne. How many goals has Barwick had a hand in, Bob? Yes, he's done his share, and I, oh. I think the Brisbane Bears players all thought that ball was going to run over the boundary line. So it's a couple of times today we've seen players stop when they should not have. Approaching the 28-minute mark of the third term, Hine against Rindell. Hine got the tap, not a clear one. And the umpire will bounce it once again, five metres wide of the centre circle, but this time, without the restrictions, there's a great number of players in there. Rendell with a backhander. It's taken by Reigns, who read that beautifully. Williams led it leads in the race for the ball. Traps it, gets it across to Buckley. Buckley onto the right foot, hand passes back to Mark Williams, puts him under all sorts of pressure. The ball scooped up by Mike Richardson, trying to get the hand pass out. Williams now leads in the race for the ball. Very tired as he was trying to tap the ball on. And eventually we find Pekin taking possession, trying to get the hand pass through. The loose ball comes towards Richardson. Breaks the tackle, was held by the foot, and will take the free kick. The lead coming from David O'Keefe, but Richardson ignores it. The crowd hoping for a goal. 27 points to margin at the moment. I don't think he'd make the distance. Right up to the square, though. O'Keefe was up high. It's off the hands of O'Keefe and through for one more point. So the Bears, five of the Bears, 14 points have come up off the hands or rushed through. Grant Laurie preparing to bring the ball back into play. 68 to 94 as Laurie comes wide. Players going everywhere and the ball running through to Philip Walsh. He's played pretty well. Goes short. O'Keefe. If Thornton hadn't fallen over, it might not have looked so easy. <laughs> but when Thornton fell over, it made it look easy for David O'Keefe, who's kicked one goal, two, all in this term. And the former Geelong winger. And swinging back. It's a nice-looking kick. And the fans delighted as O'Keefe brings up his second goal. 10-14, 74, 20 points the margin. Still in there with a big chance. Fitzroy 15 4 94, and there's the siren for three quarter time, and that is the three quarter time score. Fitzroy 15 4 94, the Bears 10 14 74. Micken against Rendell. Micken it is. Rendell. Backhander by Rendell, taken by Graham Osborne, picked up by Armstrong. Tackle though. Loses it to Scott McIver from the point of the centre of the square. Bill Logan goes forward. Did he take the mark, Barwick? Yes, according to the umpire. And so Doug Barwick going for goal number eight from 55 metres out. Barwick. And 
is Doug Barwick. Well, that wasn't Doug Barwick, of course. They have some problems as the kick was offline. This didn't quite make the distance. In fact, off the hands and hits the post. So seven goals, three to Doug Barwick. Lovely kick from fullback by Donnell. And a good mark by Stephen Reynolds in my G. He's played a lot better this season. Really, a lot of maturity being shown by Stephen Reynolds over the head of Walsh. Bruce comes out. The hand pass over the top. Once again, the hand pass. That time from Clayton. Out wide to Pekin. And Bruce still running down the ground. Puts the ball forward. But Finch takes a lovely mark. Possibly he should have punched before. <laughs> He still did take the mark as he goes short. Campbell. Lovely pass from Campbell. Finds Reigns. Walsh. Walsh puts it along. Banfield in the front position. Mightn't have been a mark, but it's a free kick anyway. As Peter Banfield has done an excellent job. Buckley. Mark Williams got pushed in the back. Umpire missed it. Williams trying to force the ball through and a bounce to take place. I don't know how the umpire missed that one, Bobby. You called it right. That was right in the middle of the back. Otherwise, he would have marked it. And 45 metres out from goal from the bounce. Rendell got the tap. Thumped on that time by Pekin. Graham Osmond's there with Richardson. Richardson got it. Breaks the tackle. Swings onto the left foot. Runs his full distance, drives it down, hoping for Hardy. Couldn't take the mark. Laurie gets the hand pass forward. Back to Laurie again. Kepler did well to get it there. Straight over the line, could be deliberate. Oh, what would have taken a game umpire to pay it? I thought he was looking, though, the umpire. He was looking to pay it, and no, he, I think he changed his he mind. He would have got off the ground with this <laughs> crowd. Well, here it is in that forward pocket for the Bears. They're striving. Oh, gee, Mark Williams, a good hip and shoulder. Punched away by Graham Osmond. Keith Thomas, oh, beautifully done. Across to Billy Logan. Logan tackled by Reigns. Now, which way will it bounce? It bounces Keane's way. He's been backed up by Logan. Oh, good play by the big fella, Mark Roberts. But it's Keane buttering up. He kicks it long. This is danger. Yes. Richard Osmond takes the mark. Picks it up. Slams it through. That's goal number six to Richard Osmond in a beautiful passage of play. Yes, well, possibly bad luck for the Bears because it went from one end of the ground to the other. Michael Conlon coming on to be punt lead, replace Billy Logan. And uh, I did notice Brad Hardy when he went for the mark uh, down in that forward pocket. He, after he came down, he grabbed. Mike Richardson actually called to come off and going straight into the wounds. So Rick Norman back on the ground. But I noticed Brad Hardy grabbed the, the back of the thigh when he did go for the mark. But he's still out there. He's out there at half forward. 20 points to the margin. 11-15 to 16-5. Rendell takes a tap. Phillips kicks mothered. Forcing the ball through is Clayton. Good play by Scott Clayton. Fidge out in front. Can't trap it. Kicked off the ground by Keane. Going after it is Harris. A goal coming up as Leon Harris steadies. Puts it through. Well, they didn't need that one. And Fitzroy may have needed it, but certainly the Bears did not. As Fitzroy go to 17 goals, 5, 107 with the Bears, 11-15-81. Well, there seemed to be a real lull in the play there where it almost as if the Brisbane Bears had dropped their bundle a little bit after that goal by Osmond. Let's hope they haven't because uh, there's a long way to go in this quarter and they're still in it with a chance with a couple of quick goals, but they got that goal far too easily. Back to the centre of the ground as we see Mick and G. has got a big heart, this fella. He's battled away there in the ruck all day. It's Waterson off the side of the boot. It should be marked by Walsh, it is. He runs onto his right foot, which is not his natural kicking foot. He might have been better off swinging back onto the left there. Bring it away is Grant Laurie, who's a very, very re reliable player. Just does his job down there. No uh, 
frills or anything about his play, but he punches at the right time and is a beautiful kick. It's on half forward flank for the Bears. They want two or three quick goals. Oh, there's Rick Norman crashing into the pack. McCarthy to Hardy. Hardy under a lot of pressure as he's been all day. Now here's their chances. We see Mark Buckley picking it up on the right foot. A little chip pass across to half forward. And the mark has been taken out there by Philip Walsh. Now, Sir would probably make the distance from there, I think, Bob, on his left foot. He'll take a good kick, but he's with the breeze. Need to be an excellent kick. Well, he is. A, it'll kick from 55 metres. If he gets onto it, he should make the distance. He doesn't make the distance. He lobs it up in the square. No one can take the mark. Hardy went in there after it. Here's Mark Williams. Well done as he crashes his way through the pack. Still going after it. It's thrown to the ground. Play on, said the umpire. As big Mark Micken goes after it, shovels it out. Looking for Reynoldson. Reynoldson to Reigns. Reigns going in harder. Good play, Jeff Reigns. But he is dispossessed eventually by Scotty Clayton. Over to Mickey Conlon, who has spent a lot of the game on the interchange bench. Over further to Matthew Armstrong. Beautiful backing up as Clayton back to Conlon. Conlon the dasher. Campbell matched him for pace up to the forward line. Good play by Campbell to put him under pressure. John Fidges taking a couple of nice marks in this last quarter. Over he goes to Bretton Phillips. Now it's the Bears' turn. To, oh, nearly had his head knocked off there by Richard Osborne. Over to Donnell. It's the Bears' turn now to show the uh, teamwork. Reynolds said, oh, no, drops the mark. Thrown to the ground after he's got rid of the ball. The player's looking very, very tired. Thomas receives from Rendell. Now it's Truella. Slow to get rid of it, but eventually the hand pass comes into Clayton. Clayton to Conlon, who's... A, all on his own on half forward. He runs to half forward and kicks long. Who's there? Oh, it's in the back of the Bears. No, said the umpire. Play on as Mark Roberts gets it to Fidge. Almost caught. Good play, Johnny Fidge, as he brings it towards centre wing, where the mark has been taken out there by Walsh. Long kick from Walsh down to half forward. Williams up high. Couldn't take the mark. Lending support there is Thornton. Long hand pass from Thornton finds Roos. Roos goes towards the wing, a beautiful pass. Hand pass on Conlon that time. On to Clayton, and Clayton a beautiful pass right onto the chest of Doug Barwick. Now Barwick will be kicking from 45 metres out. Has kicked seven, four in the first quarter, two in the second, one in the third. Well, his last couple of shots for goal, Bob, have been absolute shockers. Well. Kicked him the man on the mark once from 25 metres, so he is a great kick. Let's see what he does with this one. 26 points the margin between the sides as Barwick hooks the ball out of bounds on the full, so it's still 26 points the margin. Stephen Williams comes off the ground. Mike Richardson back on. Frank Dunnell will put the ball back into play. Dunnell from right alongside the behind post. Linnelson up, couldn't quite take the mark. Harris, the hand pass from Harris. Graham Osmond swooping through from 45 metres out. Nice looking kick from Graham Osmond. Full points indicates the goal umpire. And that's really put a seal on it as far as the Bears are concerned. They're still in there battling their hearts out. They just have not got enough up forward. 18-5, 113. Excellent kicking by Fitzroy as we watch the replay. And this is the strength of Fitzroy. Their half-back flankers, where, which is where Graham Osmond has been playing, they stream up the ground and they cover so much territory and their teamwork's so good that they have shots for goal. 11-15 to 18-5. So uh, 14 minutes gone in this final quarter. A huge task awaits the Bears now because uh, I think they're... The sting has gone out of their game a little bit. There's Bretton Phillips actually threw it away. Scotty McIver out wide to Tim Pekin. Pekin to Mickey Conlon. He's got, got a bit of spring in his step now. Mickey as he hooks it to Barwick who ducks back. And he couldn't take the mark but he touched it before it went over the line. Well, I think you're right Pete. The sting has gone out of the play because they've got it up there. They haven't scored. And they must be very, very careful now that they just don't let their game fall away. They're still in there with a chance. They've had 26 scoring shots to 23, but they haven't been able to capitalise on opportunities in that, well, last final chance shot at goal as Fidge takes the gamble, gets it across now. Philip Walsh, who's done well out there on the wing. Walsh brings the ball back. He's looking for Campbell. 
Buckley does a bit of shepherding, but the ball runs through to McIver. He gives the hand pass on to Armstrong, who goes long, micking up high from behind, but that's a good mark to Gary Keane. Keane, well, you have to be there to punch the ball away. He's a big boy, he's got long arms, and we watch on replay, judged it to perfection. Gary Keane, the only player to look like taking that one. The left footer, 31 games to his credit, hits the post. So, one point, and the fans breathe a sigh of relief. 81 to 113. 32 points to margin. Well, Peter Knights and Shane O'Sullivan not looking too happy about proceedings as the ball is with Jeff Raines, who played a fair game too, Jeff Raines, today, as he kicks long towards McCarthy. Couldn't take the mark. Kapler has been a very, very good player today. Over to Clayton. Clayton further afield to Scotty McIver. Look at the backing up of Fitzroy. This is beautiful as Truella still able to get the ball. Another hand pass to Graham Osborne. Osborne from the half forward line. It's a high floater. This could be a goal. His brother's up there. Richard Osborne couldn't take the mark. It's thumped away by Frank Donnell. Straight to the line. Mind, that was a free kick to Donnell. Against Osborne. He went early, didn't he? And got into his back. It could have been too. Bobby. There's Osborne. He's kicked six goals. He and Barwick. Well, 13 goals between them. There's Doug Barwick. He's got it. Couldn't get his boot the ball. Mark Williams is now doing a bit of uh, ruck roving. Over to Fidge, who's played a pretty good last quarter, Johnny Fidge, after being outpointed early. Brad Hardy hasn't had a good day. Now it's Mike Richardson. Over to Hardy. And uh, the Brownlow medalist streaks down the ground. He is hit limping a little bit as he brings it long towards the full forward area where the mark has been taken by David O'Keefe. And their forward line has looked much better since O'Keefe has gone there. He's kicked two and a chance to kick his third. But one player they could make into a forward, I saw him kick nine goals one day for Melbourne, is John Fidge. I really believe he could be a top-class forward. There is the kick by O'Keefe. Third goal of the game to David O'Keefe. A good effort. And the Bears move on to 12-15, 87 to Fitzroy, 18-6, 114. Speaking of Fidge, I think Fidge has stuck to his task very well today. Let's uh, face it, Barwick uh, well, started on um, Dunnell and kicked, I think, three goals before he had Fidge on him. So three, he's only kicked four on Barwick in, um, well, three quarters of football so far. I hope for Fidge's sake that, well, Doug Barwick would want more, but seven's probably enough for any forward. Yeah, but I think, Bob, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think that you've got to win games. And I reckon he that is they loose, need... but he's stuck to his task yeah. well. I'd love to see him on the forward line. No. I personally would play him there, yeah. yes. Well, <clears throat> not too many of the fans have left, Pete. I think they've enjoyed the game. Uh, you know, the first time they've had a VFL side up here and... Uh, I think they've really got with the swing of it and have loved it, even though their side's being beaten. But not disgraced. Centre bounce, 87 to 114. One quick goal would lift their confidence again. Micken gets a tap, runs past the big fellow in McCarthy. Walsh coming through, got a push in the back, was looking for the free kick. He's having a word to say to the umpire don't as well. Him, as Keane him. puts it out, Conlon misses it. Keane backs up, good play. Good play also by the Bears, as we saw desperate play by Norman. He took the hand pass as he gave it again there. Campbell puts the ball forward. McCarthy this time drives them forward with a long kick. O'Keefe coming out in front, taps the ball down to Richardson, trying to get the hand pass through. Pekin taps it wide, picking it up as Laurie, taking it away. This time Roos puts the ball out wide and Conlon takes the ball for Fitzroy. Conlon drives it long to the half forward line. Armstrong, it looked like he got it across to Keane. Keane out wide. Back to Armstrong again from Thomas. Armstrong puts a beautiful pass right over the chest of Barwick. And there have been a few occasions when Doug Barwick could say thank you very much to his teammates upfield. He honestly should have kicked uh, 12 goals today. The opportunities he's had, Bob. He's played a magnificent well, he game. This one. I'll back him. I reckon he's missed the last four. I reckon he's a certainty here. I'd like me money on it, Bob. Well, the fans here, capacity crowd today. They've been entertained. They're disappointed, but they've still been entertained as Barwick goes goalward. Oh. And once again, he's offline. So after kicking six or seven goals straight, he's now got seven goals, four on the board. Glad I didn't bet. 
12-15, placed 18-7. Doug Barwick is going to be a very, very... He's had a great year so far. He's going to be a dangerous player all year for opposition sides. There's Fidge, as Bobby said, has really stuck to his guns and hasn't been disgraced, that's for sure, in this last half. There's the kick from Reigns. Beautifully knocked on by Reynolds. And he's tried very, very hard today, Steve Reynoldson. Centre of the ground, Rick Norman. Out wide. Mark Williams has grabbed when he didn't have the football. Chief, the umpires let a lot go as we see a hand pass from Clayton out towards Mickey Conlon. Conlon further afield to Rendell. Rendell, look at the backing up. Three and four players. Here he comes again, Graham Osmond, as he sprints a goal, fires it through. Oh, hit the post. So two posters in this quarter to Fitzroy. Scoreboard, 12-15-87, Brisbane to Fitzroy. 18 goals, 8, 116. Donnell puts the ball back into play, finds Buckley who doesn't muck around, he knew that Walsh was there, so he straight away gave the long hand pass, one bounce, he could take another, he does, streaming down towards 55 metres, the long kick from Walsh, it's a ripper! Great goal, Philip Walsh, excellent play, Mark Buckley. That was tremendous play and full marks to Buckley, he's on a great player in Paul Roos and on that occasion he... From the half-back line, he gave a beautiful hand pass out under pressure to a player who was not covered, and that was Philip Walsh, and beautiful balance by Walsh as he ran to the 50-metre line and a long raking drop putt, and that really lifted the spirits of the Brisbane crowd. 22 points the margin, 22 minutes almost into the quarter. So still probably eight or nine minutes to go. Can they get it down quickly? Walsh tackled too high, so he'll drive the ball down over the half forward line. Gives it across to Reigns. Reigns breaks the tackle. He'll go long. A long kick it is. Can we get O'Keefe at the back? Coming through with Laurie. Lovely hand pass to Thomas. Back to Laurie. Fitzroy out of trouble as the kick goes forward with a misplaced kick. And this time it's the Bears coming back with maybe Laurie out of position. Reynolds and a great mark. He's got O'Keefe in the square. He should look and kick it down in a hurry. O'Keefe was calling. Reynoldson didn't realise. It was a great mark by Reynolds, as you, Reynoldson, as you saw on replay. But he's still a chance of kicking it. It's a pretty good kick of the football from 50 metres out. Steve Reynoldson. One point only the result. Well, he did have in the square... But well, it's easy to see from here. Well, it's not so easy from down on the ground. And Reynoldson was unable to see that O'Keefe was on his own in the square. Otherwise, he would have put the ball down there. It's amazing how much more you see from up here, Peter. <laughs> it's easy. It? I've never played so many good games than from up here, Bob. As we see, Thornton bring it out of, from full back and Mark Micken has taken the mark. He should give it across here to Richardson, who is not covered. And Mike Richardson is marked. About to, oh, he's going to centre it too. This is good play. Top play. Intelligent play by Richardson. Unselfish play as he centred the ball to Brad Hardy, who is in a better position, and the whole crowd has lifted. They realise that the Bears are a chance. We're getting close to the time on period. The Brownlow medalist runs in, stabs at it. Oh, has he kicked it? I think he has, judging by the crowd reaction. Yes, a goal to Brad Hardy. And the difference is now only 16 points. Can the Brisbane Bears get up? Well, it's been a great fighting effort by the Brisbane Bears. They have never at any stage thrown the towel in. They trail by 34 points at quarter time, 24 points at half time. As on the replay, we see Micken put the ball down. And another loose man, as Richardson saw it, and across it went to Brad Hardy. 20 points they were down at three quarter time. And then when Fitzroy looked as though they might run away with it, they're now 16 points as Rendell comes off the ground. Mark Scott onto the ground and there's Rendell on the bench. Along with Loken. The Bears fans yelling encouragement. Can their team lift? Scott gets a tap. Tackle. Umpire saying that Waterson gave no chance to Truella from getting the ball clear. 16 points to margin in favour of Fitzroy. We're approaching time on. Micken. 
Can't get the ball clear. Mackay was in there. The hand pass comes to Conlon. Fitzroy going forward as Conlon hooks the ball down. A two-out duel as it's punched down by from Dunnell. Dunnell still diving in there, fighting the ball out. The loose ball picked up by Armstrong. He snaps over the shoulder. I think it's a goal. Young Matthew Armstrong probably seals things with his first goal. And it's a 22-point margin with only time on less 30 seconds to play. And a very, very good goal, as you see, a great camera shot, as I've said earlier, from behind the goals. It's knocked on Armstrong, tapped it with his foot, chased in after. That's that little bit of uh, zip off the mark he's got, Matthew Armstrong. Picked it up, and the young fella slammed it through, and can't hide his delight. As you can see, he's really excited. And what a top goal that was, and that has really sealed it for the Bears. 22 points the difference, and we're almost a minute into time on. As Graham Osborne, number 19, has been a good, honest worker right throughout the game today. Once again, Rowan Saws bounces it. It's been a very, very good game up here at the Carrara Oval and a pretty promising uh, home game by the Brisbane Bears. They've gone down to... Uh, well, they're going to go down to a very, very good Fitzroy side. Uh, Fitzroy will win more than they lose this year. They're quick. And they team well, so it's certainly no disgrace today by the Bears. There's Reynoldson, who's battled very hard. Over to Mark Williams, and Williams was a long raking drop punt. I think he's hooked it. He has, and I think it's only one point it is. So the difference now is 21 points with about a minute and a half or to two minutes, almost two minutes of time on gone. Grant Laurie from fullback, a long raking drop punt, a chance for the high flyers, and it's almost to Mark the McIver. Again, the Bears swoop in. It's Mark Williams. Geez, battled hard. A low pass to Richardson. He'll run into the open goal. He straightens up. He stabs. It comes back, and it's a goal. And maybe the Bears will are still in it. The crowd erupts. 107 plays 122. So the difference now is 15 points. If they are going to be in it, they must get it straight out of the centre and down there again. Richardson, after being well held in the first half, has come back. Come back well. Come back well in this second half of football. Mark Williams in the thick of things again as Rick Norman gets the hand pass out. You're watching the replay as Mark Williams gets it to Richardson. He looked to see whether there was someone coming through. And there's the shot. Speed it through from the centre bounce. Desperate football. MacGyver comes in. Loses it. The ball taken by Phillips. Back to Clayton this time. Clayton puts it out wide. Conlon's there. Chased by Walsh. Conlon puts a high ball down. Richard Osmond takes the mark. Well, it's still been a great fighting effort by the Bears. Richard Osmond going for goal number seven as the replay shows. Dunnell fall. Or was he pushed? I thought he fell. But I agree. A mark to Richard Osmond. And he will be going for his seventh goal. And with 28 minutes gone, seven goals it is to Richard Osmond as they go to 20 goals, eight, 128, a 21 point lead over the Bears, 15, 17, 107. Well, Richard Osmond is a tremendous forward. Uh... Probably an in and out year last year, but he read that beautifully as we saw that replay. Never took his eyes off the ball. Look at this camera shot, as you see. Look at that. Didn't look at his opponent, just kept his eyes on it the whole time, and that's why he took the mark, and that's why he's kicked seven goals today. 14 goals between two players, Barwick and Osborne. 107 players, 122. 29 minutes gone in this final quarter. And have been an excellent game of football under perfect conditions. And this ground is an absolute credit uh, to all people concerned with the upkeep of it. It is in perfect condition. Full marks to everybody concerned with this game today. As Micken once again gets a tap down. Through comes Norman. Tries to get the hand pass through to Reigns. But it's intercepted by Leon Harris. Leon Harris, the luxury of a couple of bounces. Across the map over. Through to Kapler. Kapler with the long kick down towards the forward pocket, but it's offline and over the boundary it goes for a throwing to take place five metres around from the behind post, forward pocket for Fitzroy. 
beaten they may well have been but disgraced they're certainly not and I feel that every one of these fans will be back for the game next week against the Demons play slowing down a little bit at the moment and it's well any wonder because it's been played at a hectic tempo in pretty warm conditions early in the piece a big pack of players the bounce will be about 25 meters out from goal 21 points to margin 30 minutes have gone Micken once again gets the tap. It comes out the back, kicked off the ground, straight to Dunnell. He was going to go back, but then he, I think the umpire said it's not far enough, so over he goes for one more rush point to Fitzroy. 22 points now. Scott, a nice mark by Scott. Coming on the ground a few moments ago to replace Matt Rindell. Goes for the short pass, straight onto the chest of the opposition, and Mark Williams it is. 15 metre penalty. The hand pass from Williams to Walsh. Walsh drives long, hoping for Reynoldson at the back, and Reynoldson doesn't let him down. Steve Reynoldson will go for the long kick, looking for David O'Keefe. O'Keefe in the front position, punched away by Laurie. Pump coming back, it's Hardy. Hardy can't get the hand pass clear, but he still tries to trap the ball, does so. And the bounce will take place 40 metres out from the Bears' goal. 107 to 129 in favour of Fitzroy. 31 and a half minutes into the final term. McCarthy gets the big punch. Mark Williams, the snap towards goal from Williams. But once again, he's offline. So three goals, three to Mark Williams. What a great try he is, Pete. He may not have the the most, most fluent skills of some of the better class players, but by gee, he's got a big heart. He's a great competitor. He always has been, even at, at Collingwood. Well, he was made captain of the side after coming across from South Australia. 30, well, 32 minutes gone in this final quarter as Grant Laurie brings the ball back into play. Mark Micken goes up and takes a strong mark about 60 metres out from goal. Micken has battled very, very hard all day in the ruck. A good lead and a good mark and a good pass as O'Keefe takes it. He's already kicked uh, three goals. He will... One half, second half of football. Yeah, well, maybe this is their chance to try him as a full forward next match. It doesn't always work, of course. Reynoldson's look good at centre-half forward too, Bob, so that augurs well for the future. There's a fourth goal, I think. I think he's kicked it. He has, David O'Keefe. Four goals for the game. A very, very good effort. 16-18. 114 the Bears. 20 goals, 9. 129. 15 points to margin. And this has been an excellent game of football to watch. A replay. An excellent mark by Micken. He's ruck well for a player that came in for the game under a cloud. It's been a great effort in there. And see the headlock against David O'Keefe by Grant Laurie after it was a good lead and a good pass by Micken. We've got two balls out there at the moment, so they must wait for one to come off the ground. It's not true that both uh, timekeepers are from Brisbane, is it, uh, Bobby? <laughs> there might be a local rule. You've got to wait till they get in front. Well, it's 15 points in arrears they are at the moment as the emergency umpire takes the ball away. Micken against Scott. Fitzroy holding a 15-point advantage. Micken got the tap down. Mark Williams put it on. Racing through was Campbell. The hand pass taken by Buckley. Uh, McCarthy it was. Puts it long down. Looking for O'Keefe. Tapped down by O'Keefe. And there's the siren. And the final score says Fitzroy 20 goals 9, 129. The Brisbane Bears 16-18, 114 in a great game.